my boys. How's it going? Ah, some of you might be watching the Super Bowl, huh? Oren, get that out of here. We ain't watch no football in this house. How you guys doing, man? <laughs> I can't be too loud because it's just about to be 10 p.m., but hey. I figure, why not wall out my, with my boys, you know, in the most quiet way possible, and just take a look at some gaming magazines, why not, huh? So, uh, how are you boys doing, huh? Sports, what's that? Exactly. He knows. <laughs> American football. I sleep. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. I, uh, Super Bowl's not for me. Maybe, maybe I gotta catch up on the last few, uh, 53 of them. So I can get the whole lore going in. But, uh, how are you guys doing? Why you stream while I slip? Shouldn't it be like daytime for you? Oh yeah, you work like a night job. Whatever. Yeah, you're an American to me, Kirby. Um, hey Chris, long time no see. My boy Dark Fox. Amazing XC. Hey, uh, it is late. Well, you know what happened? So, get this. L let me let me just lower the music real quick. So, uh, prior to beginning the stream, I actually had to compile a large amount of Large amounts of music to, uh, you know, fill fill in the the awkward silence. I, I can't have silence in my streams. It's just... Th doesn't this not feel good? This feels very... I don't know. <laughs> what's, a, what's another word for not good? You know what? I want to take something from Etika's book. We should, uh, we should do something. This is completely unplanned. <laughs> I'm just improvising this right on the spot. Let's try and see if we can learn a new word. Let me see, let me pull up, hmm, you know, yeah, let's do it here. Random word generator. We finna be educational in this stream. Migration, that, that kind of hits a little bit too close to home for me. No, no. Okay, th these are, these are too simple. Uh, learn a word today okay also i gotta put the music back this again very awkward without the music ah uh i've been driving lol practice driving uh on your road test may 5th my boy you're about to get your license bet good luck man it took me three times to, to get my driver's license i believe the first time what ended up happening was i i i hit a cone Second time, I went too fast. Third time, just right. Third time's a charm, man. Um, yeah, learn a new word today. Before we go and read some some magazines, you know, you gotta you gotta prime your own thinking. Read some books. Read some mags. Word of the day is gree, which is the prize for Vic. What? Is this real? Gr gree. Gree. Okay. Uh, use in a sentence. And here to win Gree happily forever. A false usurper wan the green. Alright, th this is a stupid idea. <laughs> Let's just go in and <laughs> look at the magazines, alright? Chris, I'm being bullied on stream again. Sans gaming. Okay. Um, so I have three sets of magazines here. One from uh, Nintendo Power, which you can see there's uh, quite a lot we can take from here. And the two other ones don't really have that, but they exist. Anime. Also Melee. So, I don't know. Take your pick. What do you want to watch, huh? My boy Chunky Funky. Ah. By the way, you can ask me at any time uh, what the what the source of these musics are, and uh, I'll I'll tell you. Anime, dude. Okay, so take a look at this. This is from 1988. This right here is from 1996, and this one is from the year 2000. You have some Sonic Adventure 2 here, Smash Bros. Uh, Melee, Legacy of Goku, which I believe was on Game Boy Advance, right? I didn't know Metal Gear Solid was, or the second game rather, was released around this time. Very cool. Alright, let me just move my mic closer to me and my just my pop filter. Okay, what are you guys saying? L2000 anime. Ah, fine. 
It's Chris's favorite game, Dragon Quest X. Ha ha ha, I get it. Dragon Ball. How many pages does this have? 165? I finna end up bored. <laughs> Time to look at magazines with off-looking art with our favorite characters that make me feel like the artist didn't get enough sleep. Well, I think by the year 2000, they probably got their stuff together. Let's look at the next page here. Aw, oh, yeah! Sonic Adventure 2! Of course, it's coming to the GameCube. Very nice. THQ? Huh. Wait, did, did THQ have anything to do with this? Not that I recall, right? Huh. Classic. Love some SA2. Parappa the Rapper, believe it or not, this is a game series I've never played. I probably should. I feel like I've played like some demo on like a disc some at one point. Bleh, Sonic, get out of here. What's wrong with Sonic? See ya, my boy. See ya, Kirby. Parappa the Crappa. Nah. You know what? Someday we should play uh, a little bit of PlayStation All-Stars. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how much you guys would enjoy that. You own a lot of demos, even one that was nowhere on the internet before you probably have. No, Diego, that one actually was on the internet. I ended up finding that out. Someone has like a whole... A whole archive of them on the internet, so... <laughs> I, I ain't special, alright? No matter what DQ11 says. Sad. Thought we made a discovery on stream. Yeah. Uh, this is... A game I've never heard of. Bye. Hmm. Is there any way to... Yeah, zoom in. Enhance! Not that much. Hmm. Okay, so this is from GamePro. Rest are... <laughs> one that's just called video games and, of course, Nintendo Power. Did you guys have any gaming magazines growing up? I remember for a little while I had... Uh, what's this called? Game Informer. There you go. A new world. A new hero. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go pirate things. <laughs> I ain't saying anything. What, what, are, what are you guys' opinions on, like, skateboarding games? I've always really loved uh, Tony Hawk, Pro Skater. Uh, I never played the underground games, though. I just remember, like, the, the N64 ones and the PS1 ones. Uh, I remember there was one that was really awkward where you, you actually had, like, a physical skateboard. I don't know what that game is called, though. Skateboarding games are really interesting. A lot of them have licensed music, so I wouldn't dare <laughs> play them on stream, or at least I would with uh, music turned down, you know? Advance was made by Dimps. Uh, yeah, Sonic Advance, you're referring to. Okay. Okay, so you guys know I'm a big wrestling fan. Uh, this is for PS... Th these look like PS2 graphics, right? Yeah, PlayStation 2. PS2 came out, like, mid-2000, right? I, I always felt like it was, like, 2001, but yeah, I guess it was 2000. Tur turn page. Reckless? I thought this was... Uh, what was that other game where you ram the car into stuff and get points? The music playing right now be kind of groovy. This song is uh, from Super Highlight, that game that Pro Jared loves so much. <laughs> I'm just gonna mention Pro Jared in every stream I make now. No, uh, but yeah, Super Highlight. Um, oh, Xbox. I forgot that was oh, only on Xbox. Oh wow. I wonder how much. Uh, what's like the best Xbox exclusive outside from like Halo? Burnout. There you go. Number one racer. Burnout's considered a racer. This game is... Oh, Jet Set Radio. Right? Jet Set Radio Future. Ha! Oh, the year 2024! <laughs> We're only four years away! Express yourself to the extreme in the rolling revolution. The setting, Tokyo, the year 2024. Tran... <laughs> 23 years later. Or 24, rather, since this was 2000. Very nice. I've yet to play Jet Set Radio. I, I should 
actually get on that, considering I've heard very nice things of it, and uh, apparently has really good music. This was on Xbox? Wait. I don't, I don't see any other, like, console logo here. Is it only on Xbox? Okay, someone can inform me on that. <laughs> Alright, let me, let me zoom out for a second. Hmm. Play, record, play. What is this? What, what is this? Nyoko memory card. Uh, pull off the Rodeo 900 from your coach. Da -da -da -da. 10 foot cable. And prove you did to your friends on the 59 block. Oh, it's, so it's a kind of memory card. W when it said record, I thought you could like actually record your your game. Wouldn't that be neat? I wonder when the first capture capture card was like created. <laughs> Over here to the left, we have a nice mix of Dragon Ball Z, uh, Final Fantasy, uh, Metal Gear Solid, and uh, some Melee. Hmm. By the way, Sega and Microsoft have had a pretty close relationship with each other, so that that's why I helped make the Dreamcast, did they? Memory cards? What, what is this Which card? Wh which card? Witchcraft, I'm sorry. Hey Chris, how many songs do you have set to play out throughout the stream? I have 91. Earlier today, I had zero, so I, <laughs> I spent like five hours trying to pick out songs. Oh, Simpsons Road Rage! What? In the year 2000? Nuts. Sonic Advance, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Yeah, what, what, what do you have? Uh, Batman Vengeance. Dragon Ball Z Collectible Card Game. Ew. What is that like? Uh, Pokemon TCG? <laughs> hmm. Half-Life, of course. Um, never played it. <laughs> NBA two NBA two K two. I don't know. That's a, that just seems funny to me. Two K two. Now they're at two K twenty. Burnout is Xbox exclusive. No, I feel like I've seen it on PlayStation, right? Two K three. Wait a second. Two K two is coming out in. Oh yeah, it is coming out in two thousand one. Yeah, they do that, right? So, the new game, NF NHL 2002, now premiering in the year 2001, because we want to be ahead of the curve, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> the Godfather? They, get, they made games out of The Godfather? Huh. <laughs> and Doom. Okay. Let's, uh, let's move on here. The hell is this? T tobacco is wacko, if you're a teen. Okay, nice. Nice propaganda in my video game magazine. Some of us aspire to be stoners, alright? Game Boy Advances. Wait, hold on. Sonic Advance is the tech, tech, tech in advance. For real, there, there's a tech in advance? That's big. Someone's giving me a phone call. Oh no, it, it was just me getting like a million notifications at once. Whatever. <laughs> okay, stoner. <laughs> okay. I don't know what this is. Which games are suited for mature audiences? Play smart. Okay. Hmm. Oh yeah, Eternal Darkness. Isn't that a game by Rare? Or am I thinking of something else? No, it's Perfect Dark. There you go. I don't know. Whatever. This is a uh, MLB, right? Yeah, pretty much. 3DO? Wait, the 3DO was a thing in, in 2000? What the hell is the 3DO? What is that? <laughs> Hold on. Discontinued, 1990. What? <laughs> Alright, whatever. I think that's probably for like a company. Maybe not the, the actual console. Eternal Darkness was the game that made you blue screen. I don't know anything about that. 
You love the cheesy descriptions that are supposed to mystify people. Oh yeah. For a second I thought this was like... Uh, what is that game called on Genesis? Uh, Toe Jam and Earl. Uh, have, you <laughs> have you guys seen the, the the Twitter page for that? I don't want to open Twitter because it's... I don't know, some, uh, some sus stuff might pop up. I don't know what this is, the corn nuts. <laughs> Wait, what is this? Hold on. What, what is this here I see on the corner of my screen? <laughs> I see Goku holding a magazine. Hey, that rhymed. <laughs> Very nice. Nice to know that Goku supports uh, GamePro. Also, is this... Wait, is this from 2002? Fake news, bro! 2000! Alright, whatever. <laughs> nice job, person who added this. Who, who are you? I don't think it says, but whatever. Very nice. <laughs> hey! Sonic and Shadow. <laughs> hey, what's up, my boy, Beetle Guy? How's it going? Oh, look at this. Four play at its best. Real talk. How many of you guys have actually played four players on a GameCube? I mean, I'm not saying that it's impossible. It's it's very much possible. They have all four ports there. But I, I think I've only ever done that, like, one or two times within my entire life. That being, I went to a boys and girls club when I was younger, and they had Mario Kart Double Dash there. And that was, like, one of the only times I ever played, like, four player anything. You never played four player in your life? Aww. And I might have played 4-player Smash 64. Okay, what's going on here? Are these drawings? I love when, when they do this. It, it, someone trace this. <laughs> this isn't a drawing. Person's from PR, Puerto Rico? Very nice. Very nice, Thomas. Ah! <laughs> oh, I was about to say, is that Crash? No, it's Jax. Jackson Daxer. Which is a game series I still haven't tried! Aw. Uh, I should I should get on it. Let's let's read the little the little blurb here though. I, I ain't trying to zoom into nothing nothing bad, YouTube. I'm a good boy. <laughs> Alright. A new legacy is born. In the hero community, you have two types. Those who are who fight evil, and those who just so happen to be around while others are doing the fighting. Introducing Jax, the fighter, and Daxter, um, the other guy. Join them as they voyage to defy the forces of evil on an adventure many dreamt about. But few dare attempt. Find more, ba ba ba, go to jackdaxter.com. Okay. Cool. Very nice. <laughs> yes. Oh, 007. Save the world on Xbox, Nintendo GameCube, and PlayStation 2. Wow. Multi port. You got all new original storyline, 12 action packed missions, exotic supercards, beautiful Bond girls, state of the art gadgets, and 4 person multiplayer support. Very good. Yeah, I've never watched a single 007 movie. Actually, you know what, now that I think about it, probably like on a plane once, I think it was like a Casino Royale one? I don't know, I didn't watch it in like its entirety. Bond isn't something that interests me. And I know GoldenEye on N64. Great game. Never never played it. Chris, have you ever played Slide Cooper? Actually, uh, at the Boys and Girls Club that I was at. Yeah, they had it there. Uh, I didn't play it. I remember watching it. 007 Rogue Agent was pretty dope, too. Buyers mm -hmm. beware. Huh? You trying to, to warn me about something? Scams? By the Watchdog. While the Xbox and the GameCube have launched, 
And though the watchdog is eagerly awaiting the usual flood of complaints and problems that accompany the arrival of new consoles, he secretly hopes he won't receive as many as he did for the PlayStation 2. What a mark. I have an HD TV and plan on buying a GameCube at launch. I was wondering if the Nintendo GameCube supports HD TV. According to Nintendo's website, the main difference between HD TV and standard TV is the number of lines of resolution that they use to display the TV image. While standard TV displays 480 lines, da -da -da, ba -ba 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 -ba. that is just around that era where like HD TVs start being a thing. Yeah. I didn't get an HD TV until like 2013. <laughs> I, I, ha I remember having like my really old TV that like would sometimes show colors if it felt like it. God. <laughs> Actually, real talk. M my mom still has like an antenna, so <laughs> I guess we we've never really left that. Technically, we we were we were just watching the Super Bowl on a standard definition TV in the year 2020. Very cool. Is this got milk. Got chocolate milk. Ooh, different. <laughs> I remember uh, seeing Got Milk ads all over the place at, like, school. Can anyone else relate? Nice, Chris. Yes, I, I. it is nice. Bro, I still have an antenna? You do? Alright, well, again, <laughs> just the world reaffirming again that I'm not special. Nice. I can relate to Got Milk. I'm assuming you got milk. Got milk ads remind you of elementary school. Yeah, they were everywhere. <laughs> Chalky milk. Hold up, did I just see flat screen TV? I have a question about flat screen TVs. I heard they were really bad and even worse when used to play video games. I was wondering if you know somebody with a problem like this. Um, interesting. Front and rear projection TVs are easily damaged when video games are played on them. What? Video games are likely to damage 99% of projection TVs. Oh. <laughs> that sucks. Sucks to be you. Sega ships the dream last. Aww. 2002. I, I guess it would have died by this point. Sad gamer moment. Can you... Can you hey. Hmm. Sega gracefully accepted defeat. The company's final 128-bit Dreamcast was produced in the fall, and the last machine shipped to North America uh, retailers on November 23rd, 2001. A prayer and an F in the chat, bro. We, we need a moment of silence for Dreamcast. I'm sorry. It's just a little moment of silence for the console that could have been, but unfortunately wasn't. I mean, it existed, but... Shh. Balance. Alright. <laughs> Thank you for joining me in, in my ritual. Also, what the hell is this? What is this picture? Is it better for the Dreamcast to burn out than to fade away? The Dreamcast went to hell! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very nice. Ah, NFL Blitz. You know what? I did- I do remember playing an NFL Blitz game on N64 and enjoying the hell out of that. That was good. I don't know if anybody else can relate. Alt F4. Chris joins the FF3 cult when? Huh? EA's Lord of the Rings. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I've never watched Lord of the Rings. Isn't one of the movies like four hours long or something like that? What is this? What is this? Hold on. New, new Wave Video Game Enhancer might be skeptical to hear that a $40 doohickey can improve the graphics of just about every video game you own. Huh? Hmm. <laughs> the difference is immediately obvious. Huh. I wonder how credible that is. 
Best selling video game titles, November 2001. Metal Gear Solid 2, game I never played. GTA 3, game I have played. I wanna, I wanna complete that at one point. <laughs> it might not happen on stream though. Uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3, Halo, Luigi's Mansion, really? Well, I guess this was just around the GameCube's launch, right? Yeah, and Luigi's Mansion was a was a launch title. I don't know about Star Wars Rogue Leader. Uh, <laughs> Harry Potter. And Have you guys seen this game? Hold on. If this is the right game that I'm 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 thinking about. Harry Potter, GBC. H Harry Power. Okay. Is this that weird like bootleg game, or does this is this legit? Yeah, I don't know. It just looks like a, an RPG to me. Did that say EA? What? EA made a Harry Potter game? E. <laughs> Very interesting. You owned this on GBC at some point. Oh. <laughs> Gun Valkyrie, I've never heard of this. Believe it or not, her best feature is her trigger finger. How did you know what I was looking at? <laughs> Wolfenstein, that, that's, a, that's a game series I need to get on as well. I believe its first game was on SNES? Or I think a port of it was on SNES. EA Sports, it's in your wallet. <laughs> Very nice. What is this? Trans World Surf. A surfing game. You know, I want to look at this. Hold up. Trans World Surf. What, is, what does this game look like? On Xbox. I don't know. <laughs> Seems like it might be like relaxing, but I don't know. I thought it was gonna be like a lot more rad. <laughs> Mild violence, strong lyrics. What is this? What is this? As if you needed another reason to eat pizza. Oh, Tony's. Actually, yeah, I remember having Tony's. Like this, this pizza box. Eat pizza, get points. Log on, bitter buy stuff. Tony's.com. Cool. <laughs> Very disgusting art, though. What is this? Maximo on PS2. I like this art style. Uh, I wonder how it translates to this game. But this looks really nice. If you saw this on like a PS2 box, like I I would have bought it. Capcom at Capcom.com. You can mod the SNES Mini to play GBA and GBC games. I have seen that. Pizza, gamer food. Actually, I I remember eating. <laughs> I say I remember. I was eating. What's it called? Uh, were they hot pockets? No. What? What are the little the little pizza pockets called? Ah, I can't remember. Totino's pizza rolls. There you go. <laughs> Not hot pockets, but Totino's pizza rolls. I I ate them for the very first time like a few days ago. And yes, they they are very much gamer fuel. Star Wars Jedi Starfighter. Didn't a Star Wars movie come out recently? I love Totino's. Yeah. <laughs> Never liked pizza rolls? Why? They're good. They're great. Episode 9? Yeah, there we go. Anime! Enter the Dragon Ball Z. I agree. Do enter the Dragon Ball Z. Where, where's the door? How do I enter? Oh, wow. They, they give lore on, on Goku's origins. Or rather, Dragon Balls. 
So what's up with Goku's tail, or lack of one in Dragon Ball Z? Fans know it's part of Goku's heritage and the original source of much of his power. But did you know that Akira Toriyama's idea of a 500 year old Chinese fable? Ah! Interesting that you'd put that here. <laughs> As if anyone cared. Hey, not saying it's not interesting! But, it's odd. <laughs> and someone, someone took the time to uh, draw a little Sun Wukong here. Is this, wait, is this the card game? What is this? Yeah, the Dragon Ball Z collectible card game. Huh. Okay. Odd. Hmm. What? What? He. <laughs> Hmm. I like these, uh, these, I guess, art taken from cells. Look at this! They have, uh, w what a character. Undoubtedly, Okira Toriyama's claim to fame was his Dragon Ball manga. Da -da -da. His stylish imagination proved him an opportunity to design characters from, from hit video games. Well, yeah. Okay, I don't know anything about this. What the hell is a toe ball? Yeah, toe ball number one and two. I, I don't know what that is. That's very nice that they, they have a little page on it. Dragon Ball X. Huh. Uh, this version, though, will be completely different. Da -da. Is this for Dragon Ball Budokai? Hmm. Dragon Ball Z Xbox. Wait. Dragon Ball Z Xbox. Did that ever end up happening? Hmm. Did a Dragon Quest game even release in the US at that point? Uh, Dragon Quest? Probably not. No, yeah, but they're calling him Dragon Warrior here. Uh, so, 1, 2, 3, and 4 were out. No. Yeah, yeah, 1, 2, 3, and 4 were out, and 5 and 6 took longer to get here. Uh, took until, like, the DS era. For them to port them over. Destructo disc. Oh, what, what's this? Oh wow, they show they're showing every single Dragon Ball game up until this point. Let me look at this. Dragon Power. I remember this game. Uh, they did some really some really weird things to it when they brought it to the states. Like they they, they like shaved Goku's hair to be shorter. Uh, I don't know, just a bunch of localization stuff. Of course, a lot of Famicom games. Super Famicom. A bunch of these games were actually RPGs. Game Boy, Mega Drive, Saturn. Hmm. Play Dia. But yeah, 30 Dragon Ball games up until that point. Wow. And that was at a time where Dragon Ball was like just starting to pick up momentum, I think. If not in like the late 90s around there. Oh no. Guys. <laughs> Wait, guys. Let me let me let me lower the music for a bit because something something very foreboding is happening at the moment. You see this? Sh should I should I should I turn this page and and enter whatever the hell this may be? This just seems very a little uh a little nerve wracking. Okay, this is not an invitation. It's a three alarm wake up call. A hello, things are gonna be different wake up call. That we're not in can. Enter here, EA Sports. <laughs> Do I dare turn this page? What'll happen? The night will not be complete until we do. <laughs> Play Dio, don't you mean stay? <laughs> stay yeah. <laughs> Guys. Chris will transcend, but look, I don't wanna. <laughs> okay, I'm turning the page. What could it be? Oh, I gotta zoom out. Golf. Cool. Very nice. Boxing. Very cool. 
Nice. Baseball. Very cool. Nice. That's it. <laughs> I sleep. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. We play video games to escape sports, man. Oh, Final Fantasy X. Also, music, where are you? I'm going to just switch to the next track. Oh, Kirby's Dream Course. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> We're not in Kansas anymore, boys. E. <laughs> All 91 tracks are done already. No. It's just that I paused the music. Uh, I need to play this game. Perhaps not on stream, though. I thought this was The Incredibles for a second. <laughs> don't, don't ask why. I mean, there's a little bit of red here, that's why, but... You guys, did you guys know that I've never watched The Incredibles? <laughs> You're learning a lot about me in this stream. Never heard of this game, though. Hmm. Ah, Super Monkey Ball. Again, never played it. Hmm. Hey, Chris, can't talk long. I have school in the morning. Well, like, good for you. This is a, an educational stream. Luckily for you, rather. Stuntman from the creators of the blockbuster series Driver. Oh, I love Driver. Driver on, on PC was a jam. I remember you could record clips of you, like, running away from the police. That's lit. I never enjoyed The Incredibles. Fight me. Also, hi, Chris. Hey, Kevin. How you doing? Monkey Ball is funny, fun game. Exactly. Dreamcast's OST is something you associate with madness and shenanigans. <laughs> I like games like this, where you just drive car cars and do stunts. Which probably amounts for, like, every single racing game ever. <laughs> Ah, Digimon. That's a series I never got into. Uh, neither through the show or any of its games. How about any of you guys in chat? Digimon? Pog? Huh. Oh. Sonic Advance. How many of you guys recognize this song? Tech in advance. What are these? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. What's this? Any crash findings, Chris? What? Look at this. Look at look at their little rating system. Graphics. Yeah. 4.0. Sound. 4.5. Control. 4.5. Fun factor. 4.0. I like that. I'm gonna steal that. Forty dollars. Yeah. I guess back then. You know I. I wasn't there to experience, like, early GBA. I, I remember getting my GBA in, like, 2003 or 2004. But I do remember going to a Kmart at one point, and at the very, very top shelf, this was in the year 2006, I went to a Kmart, and they had Tetris and Dr. Mario, and it also costs $40. That's... No, no game should... At, at least no puzzle game should cost $40. Not on a handheld. I don't know if you guys have any memories like that. But let's see how Tekken's like. Also, these names by Star Dingo and by Pong Sifu. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Uh, published by THQ Sega. Okay. Sonic Advance was published by THQ. Interesting. Haven't played any Digimon games yet, but you have played two of them. Huh. Uh... <laughs> uh, Agumon? Yeah, I don't know anything about that. Look at this. Graphics. Sound! Whoa! Okay. Obviously, this is something I need to take a look into. Let let's see what Tekken Advance's OST is like. Oh, just when the Shadow the Hedgehog music popped up. Alright, hold on. Hold on for a second. Let's see if this music is lit. For GBA, you know what? Yeah. Yeah, this is pretty good for GBA music. Okay, I'll give it props. Yeah, it does deserve that 5.0 rating. Looking back at Boomer content.
more like we're we're just trying to explore stuff. Oh yeah, that's that's really high tech for GBA. Got gotta give it props, right? Very good sound. Fighting games on GBA though, uh, it's a little awkward. They tend to like lag and stuff. At least based off of like Street Fighter 2. I like these 3D 3D models. Cute, cuddly, and ready to rumble. Okay, Tom Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six. I have heard of that game. I don't know what it is though. Uh hmm. Saber Wolf and Konami's Collector Series Arcade Advance. And just stuff I haven't really heard of. Aside from Frogger, this is this right here is Frogger. Hmm. Blood Wake. Set a course for destruction. On Xbox? Nah. Ah, oh, Simpsons Road Rage. Okay, so here's the thing. I've actually never played this game. Uh, now you guys might be wondering, what, Chris? Yes, you have. No, I've played Simpsons Hit and Run, two completely different games. But actually, technically, yeah, I have played Simpsons Road Rage on GBA. I've never played the PS2 one or the one on GameCube or Xbox yet. Yeah, Logo is right here. Yeah, I wonder how this game's like. Eat Pant. Good. It's just another FPS from all I know. You're referring to Tom Clancy, I think? Hmm. Road Rage on console was good. I, I never played it. I I have heard some things from it, though, that I, I feel like... I feel like I've heard that they've recycled some models from this to use in Hit and Run. I could be wrong, though. Very nice. At a time where The Simpsons was just starting to be bad. <laughs> the anatomy of speed. Oh. Now that's pod racing! <laughs> do, 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 do. Ah, Virtua Fighter. There's a guy at work who really likes Virtua Fighter. He's like, it's even better than Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter. <laughs> Little does he know, I've never played... I've never played this this series, so I don't know. Anyone anyone have any experience in Virtual Fighter? <laughs> Tom Clancy, more tactical shooter. Play GameCube version, better. Uh, <laughs> I've also never played. Well, that's that's not true. I played a Tekken game. It was on PSP though. The only experience you have is with the Smash costume. Oh, an Olympics game. Interesting. Uh, Jet Set Radio Future. This is the one that's only on Xbox. Yeah. Did you guys know about this? There was a, a Jet Set Radio game that's just on Xbox. Okay. I would have thought by like, with like the whole partnership with uh, Nintendo and Sega, you know, for like Sonic Advance and Sonic Adventure 2, like maybe this would have gotten on GameCube, but no. Xbox. Interesting. Also this. Am, am I to assume... Th this right here is a PlayStation logo. And this is the PlayStation 2 logo. By the way, have you guys seen the PlayStation 5 logo? Looks pretty intense. But, uh... Yeah. That's, that's weird to think about, right? When games were both released on the PS1 and the PS2? Official video game of the Olympic uh, Winter Games. Are games like that still made? Uh, I have it, Chris. It's good. Uh, it's music simps hard. Oh no, slaps hard. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm still on my on my simp on my simp game. You just change the number and boom, new game, bruh. These are games I've never played before. What is this? Is that wait? PlayStation 2? Is that like your... Oh, <laughs> ew! Look at this PS2 logo! Ew! 
I'm glad we didn't get that, or at least that it didn't stick. Look at that. Also, there's a really funny meme uh, of like Lego Star Wars where they have like Post Malone. I'm not sure if anyone can send me a picture of that. Like, I, I need it for special purposes. <laughs> the PS5 logo is recycled garbage, just like the PS4 and the PS3 Slim was. Jet Set Radio has one of the greatest video game soundtracks. Oh, look at Akira. Finally not looking blocky. Moonhawks Pro Skater 3. Wait. Wasn't... Wasn't Pro Skater 3 also on N64? Or am I crazy? There were like three Tony Hawk games on N64. Or were those like different games? I don't know. Pro Skater Underground... <laughs> I don't know any anything. I also don't know anything about these. Apparently UFC was big at, in 2002. Oh. Look at this meme music. <laughs> more more Star Wars time splitters. Uh, I've heard of this, right? I don't know. I have heard that name before. If you guys recognize anything, please, please say. Oh, I remember playing this game. My cousins used to, used to go hard on this. NBA Street. Now on Nintendo GameCube. Uh, I'm just gonna came in a little late because it was on PS2. Uh. The composer for Jet Set Radio also did some for Sonic Rush. <laughs> Wait. The composer for Jet Set Radio, isn't he the guy who's rocking the, the Peter Griffin <laughs> profile picture on Twitter? Please say psych. Okay, psych. Oh, what's yeah, there you go. He Hideke <laughs> Naganuma. Funny moments. Chad Composer. Hmm. Very, very cool looking looking game. Oh, this probably looks this looks really weird for PS2. Why does this look like it's drawn? Ew. Hmm. Okay. I remember playing some like ATV game on PS3. It was at a kiosk, like mid to late two thousands. Hmm. Half-Life was on PS2? I always thought that was a... A PC thing. Okay. Max Payne, I, I do remember that being a thing. Mm. Oh, these are all rated M games. M rated games, rather. Hmm. What is this? G Guitaru Man. Cool. Maximo, you were just saw this game. Again, I really like the art for it. It's very unique for a PS2 game. <laughs> Let me look at the ratings again. <laughs> hey! EA, Best Buy, mm, Max Payne. I knew a couple of people back in grade school who played the Max game. The, the Max game. The Max Payne game. I've never tried it, though. Hmm. Okay, we're, we're getting into a lot, of, a lot of games I don't know territory. Not that that's a bad thing, but... <laughs> I, there's not really much I can say about these. I have a lot of sports stuff here, man. EA! Actually, this wasn't EA. This was them boys 989. Same people who made Twisted Metal 3 and 4. Uh, what's this music? This is from Smash Bros. This is the uh, how to play music. Hey, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. There you go. That's something I can talk about. What are the ratings on this? 
<laughs> Mr. Sonic was never good. Oh. Control's awkward? Well, mm, how do you guys feel about this? <laughs> also, uh, someone someone put their, their fursona here. And <laughs> they're a four-eyed dragon. <laughs> Very nice. Hey, not knocking it. But, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Would you guys say that Sonic Adventure 2 controls 3.5? I mean, that it's it's not particularly bad. It's just good. You know what? Yeah, I, I guess it doesn't control perfectly. It is a little awkward. Fine. Okay, bet. Respect. I agree with that. Never played it, but it, you've never played Sonic Adventure 2? Ah! Simple to learn, two button moves are great for pick and pick up and play gamers, and with six characters control, there's variety of the gameplay. The only drawback, however, is the inexcusable poor camera angles. Ah. Uh, you know what? Yeah. Camera's always been awkward. I'll give you that. You've never played Sonic Advance 2. No, it, this is Adventure. Pro tip, when Sonic is on the high bar, release right when you see... Very nice tip. <laughs> It's really weird when, when they give, like, pro tips for games like these with, like, so much variety. It's, like, pro tips for, like, for, <laughs> for, for like, one-time occurrences within games. Yeah. To witness Sonic go supersonic is nauseatingly thrilling and one of the, one of the great reasons to play Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. It's just scripted, bro. Hmm. Pro tip, get good. Got him. The hell is this? Good meme. Y you mean the Chaos Emeralds? Yeah. Do -do 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 -do. Background music suggestion channel when? What do you mean? This music is from Mega Man X5. It is a a remix, I believe, of uh, yeah, Sega Genesis remix for Squid Adler. But I've never played Mega Man X5. I just like the music. Hmm. <laughs> Shake my head. I've he I've heard X5 is decent. Uh, what is this? Buffy the Vampire Slayer. On the Xbox. Hmm. It's <laughs> such good music for an annoying stage. It's middle of the road, I'd say. Hmm. I've never watched Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I don't know anything about this. Is this a, a fighting game, though? Yeah, it's, it's weird. Oh, look at that. His shoe melted. Faster gameplay. <laughs> I believe one of the last PS1 games was like a soccer game. It was like FIFA 2005. Something like that. Or NHL 2005. NFL 2005. I don't know. One of those. <laughs> NBA 2K2. And NBA Courtside, oh, so one's for PS2, the other's for GameCube. Oh, so, some... So, I, I see a bad rating here. That's something I like to hear. Something's wrong with the sound? How so? Aw, oh, he's sad. Bro, sports games should not cost this much. Like, no, no sports games. See, I, I don't understand, like, what, what's the the enjoyment factor out of them. Aside from, oh, we're gonna update our roster each and every time, but it's gonna be the same game, and maybe you'll have a career mode where, like, you can create your own character, and it's gonna be cool, man. We're always updating the mechanics. It's like... <sighs> boring, man! <laughs> yeah, uh, Shovel Knight tracks. This song, uh... What's it called? Ah, Propeller Knight, there you go.
Okay, I ignore all this. Let's talk about the <laughs> the game the Game Boy Link cable. How many of you guys have actually had this? Oh, this is this is a third party thing. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, how many of you guys ever had like a link cable like that? I know since the DS it's been like obsolete to ever have anything like that. But I I remember borrowing a Game Boy link cable from Flair. He had one. He had one for both GBA and Game Boy. So very cool. Shout out to that guy. In NBA 2K16, there's a story with bad voice acting. Uh oh. Your stream's freezing? Bro, oh, no. Cheat? Oh, wait. Alright. We need to out some people now in, in stream. How many of you guys have actually had a cheating device? I'm talking action, replay, game shark. I've never had any of them. I believe. Action replay on DS. I remember looking at, at it at a GameStop. That used to be like 20 ish dollars, right? $25? I always wanted one. I remember for like Mario 64 DS, you could access like secret demo areas. Like, ah! I've always wanted one. First Play of Games, you had one? Aww. You only had the cable to connect to the GameCube. There's very few games that let you do that. I believe one of them was, uh, <laughs> was, uh, Pokemon LOL XD, ROFL LMAO, um, that and Wrath of Cortex. I'm not sure if there's any other. Hmm. <laughs> you rely on pure hard skill. Yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. Car games are also something I don't understand all that much. Um, I do remember, though, on my 22nd birthday, this past May that happened, I went to this virtual reality place. I might have mentioned this before on stream. Uh, it's a place called VR World. It's in New York City. And they had this, like, VR racing game. That was pretty cool. But aside from that, I've, I've never been, like, too fond of these. Um, I think Need for... Need for Speed Underground might be, like, the exception. I remember that being particularly cool. Uh, I couldn't tell you why, though. God. So many sports games. Like, I'm trying to escape all this. Sega Sports? Is that a company that still exists? Dreamcast? Oh. Y'all gotta make me feel sad again. We already paid respects. Grandia. That's, that's something I've heard of. I believe that's an RPG series. Yeah, Role Players Realm. Oh, so I was at the sports section, so now I'm an, an RPG section. Look at this anime game on GameCube. Death Chamber, Death Chamber, Death Chamber. <laughs> anime Pog, yeah. Final Fantasy X. What is this? Oh, they have like a whole list of items and monsters in like certain areas. Bro, that's way too much effort. Hmm. The next level of interactivity is here. Oh. Pretty gritty. I like ads like this, they're really cool. Hmm. Oh, th wait! This is the, the, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. That's that meme. It's his face. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. Chiefs won. Let's go. Who? <laughs> uh, Dra Drakan. Never heard of it. Actually, isn't there like some interesting lore behind this game? Hmm. I feel like I've heard of this. I don't know. You you have a DS action replay and you love the heck out of it. Somehow you think uh, you lost the data and cheats for all the games you had. Actually, you know what? I remember. I used to play Mario Kart DS a lot. Uh, on a few times where I had Wi-Fi, and you would you would often run to people who like cheated 
<laughs> on Mario Kart DS. Like, they would just spam uh, the bullet bill on a single person. Like, say, so they would make it so, like, they programmed the bullet bill to just, like, go backwards and forwards and just, like, stalk a player and just keep on hitting them continuously. God. <laughs> Could you use that? Could you use action replay and, like, the online Wi-Fi play? Damn, that would suck. I wonder if, any, if uh, yeah, Nintendo did anything about that. Right, let's take a look at this here. I remember hearing something about this game, too. Uh, not sure what, though. What systems do you currently use to play games? PlayStation 2. GameCube. Xbox. PS... Uh, yeah, play... <laughs> right, the PlayStation and the play PS1. Alright, so, yeah, I guess there's a clear distinction. Pro tip, or rather just fun fact. I've never owned a PlayStation. I've always owned a PS1. So, a PS1, for those of you guys who don't know... That is... Uh, this little thing. I remember getting this for my fifth birthday, 2003. The neighbors downstairs gave me this, and it came with Shrek Treasure Hunter. And I believe shortly thereafter, I got SpongeBob SquarePants Super Sponge. And then, uh, I probably Crash 3. Crash 2 or 3, one of those games. Interesting. Uh, Dreamcast, N64, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, PC Windows, Macintosh. Neo Geo Pocket and Super, Super NES. Interesting, you you feel the need to put that there. Super NES. Whenever you played Mario Kart DS online, it glitched out badly with cheats. Oh. State of emergency is okay. You're surprised it's still something. Good old PS1. Thanks for being a huge part of your childhood. Oh. Man, I, I really need to get to the other magazines. Oh, I, I like this music. How many of you guys recognize this music? Never played MGS. So I was always under the impression that Metal Gear Solid 2 was on... was on PS1. Is that not the case? Was it just MGS1 that was on PS1 and... this game was only on PS2? Huh. I guess I'm the I'm the dumb one. Mm -hmm. Bad cab. <laughs> just just straight off. <laughs> Crazy taxi much, huh? Well, maybe maybe it might be different. Let's let's read a little bit more on it. Ten levels, one gold. Beat the enemy cab to your destiny. Well, it's kind of the same, except it's like racing. I assume you're you're also trying to get like a passenger to the destination. Uh, racing with against other people? I guess that's unique to this. I don't think Crazy Taxi had anything like that, right? It's from Sonic, but you forget where. This is Sonic 3. Uh, whenever you would try to do, like, multiplayer on it. Uh, the competition. Virtua Fighter 4. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bro, have you guys seen Virtua Fighter 3? I might have brought this up before. Uh, this game was released in 1996. Keep this in mind. 1996 was the same year that the that the N64 came out. And this is what this game looked like. Now, I get it. Look, it was on arcade. But doesn't this straight up look like a PS2 game? That was made... Well, okay, this isn't, this isn't really helping my case. There you go. Doesn't this look like so high tech for like 96? I guess it looks a little clunky, but like graphics wise, this looks amazing. The Virtual Fighter series, by the way, was made by Sega. Really by Sega, I believe. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just put that away. I'm gonna stop being a nerd about about that. Sonic the Fighters looks just that good. It looks a, mm, it's a little more blocky. Uh, Chris, watch Scud Race. It was also made in 1996. 
You know what? Wow. This was made in 96? Rolling start! You know what? Yeah, 96. Mm, pretty good. Bet this is one of those games that, like, you go to, like, a pizza shop. And you're, like, impressed by, like, how amazing the graphics are. Even in, in like, the year 2005. You're like, whoa, this looks incredible. This looks like it's five years ahead of its time. I get nostalgic for this. Like, look, I get it. I was mentioned before, like, I, I don't understand the deal with racing games. But, I don't know, this just looks lit to me. This is on Sega Model 3. I'm guessing that's, uh, it's the same thing maybe what Virtual Fighter 3 was on. Yeah, interesting. Oh, speaking, speaking of Sakurai, Kirby. Good old Melee. Actually, this particular song comes from Kirby Right Back Atcha, the anime. Hmm. Unleash your inner Smash Master, plus tips on how to unlock all 11 hidden fighters and 11 secret stages. Bro, really? How much you want to bet they don't actually have them all? <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, l let me read some, some hot tips and tricks on Smash Melee. Smash 2. <laughs> Names that no one calls this game. A wise ape once said that to master the Smash is to master the Melee. It's the game's finishing move, so to speak. Okay, yeah. Okay, props. Yeah, you got that right. Mo most of the time. Chris, what do you think of the Sonic Bayless that were leaked? Uh, you're gonna have to be a little bit more specific. What do you mean by Sonic Betas? Are you referring to Sonic 3's beta music? Smash Jr. These are like standard uh, attack, but behave like Smash attacks. They're most often performed by charging B and releasing. Oh, you're, you're like explaining certain types of moves. That's, that's weird. Why would anyone call... <laughs> you're, you're calling... Marp's special, a Smash Jr. Okay. Counters, yeah, I get that. Projectiles, yeah, I get that. But Smash Jr. is just a weird, weird name. Clear the room. That's pretty self-explanatory. You know, Link's, uh, is, is a spitting slash. Spin. Very cool. Whoa. Wait a second, I've never seen something like this. So, for a lot of years, I've always seen this render of Mario in like, uh, like as if it were like in a trading card type thing. This is a really good render of Mario. This is like the first time I've seen it like actually high quality. Interesting. By the way, as for grappling, I don't think I've ever grappled as a character in any Smash game. Edge Faker. Hmm. Maybe time to move beyond the standard triple jump technique and use the mid-air dodge. Oh, that, that's something I'm very infamous for. <laughs> Go ahead, be a bastard. What? Rolling grab? What do you mean? Your opponents will be able to use the special third jump again, so they may have some life in them. Hit them with another projectile. Oh, oh you're talking about like edge guarding with projectiles. Ah, disgusting. I don't, want <laughs> I don't want to hear about any of that. <laughs> Mario <laughs> Is that a no-no word in my Christian gaming magazine? <laughs> wow, a lot more coverage about Melee Oh yeah, you're, you're about to teach her some, some secrets Let's go Yeah, how do we how do we unlock every character? Jigglypuff ba -ba -ba. Simply beat the classic adventure mode once Oh, okay Very easy Unlock the Insidious Ganondorf by beating him in event, tw event match 29. Hmm. Ryuji! Ichu, Mewtwo. Easiest way to unlock Mewtwo is to clock a total combined versus playtime of 20 hours. Hmm. 
Plug in four controllers, set the battle type to stock instead of time, set all four characters as human, and select a level that doesn't have any random obstacles. Like Hyrule Temple. <laughs> then just let your game sit there for five hours! <laughs> okay, I'm glad to know that they... That they also went about doing that. Th this is actually something I've done. Where you, you leave your game on overnight. Uh, like, if you don't have enough controllers, you just do that so that you can unlock Mewtwo. And guess what? Mewtwo sucks. <laughs> More Dream Course, yeah. They don't tell you how to unlock Toad. This magazine is garbage. <laughs> of course, Dr. Mario. Diagnosis, fun. Roy! A short movie we'll play showing Luigi stepping on Mario's head. I like that movie. Really good. Alright, and all the stages here. <laughs> hmm. Get the Birdo trophy one way or another. Actually, now that I think about it, how was how was the method of unlocking things through Well in, in Smash Ultimate? Because I don't remember it being this lit. I don't know. Stuff about like unlocking it this way has always felt like really cool, but I don't associate Smash Ultimate with that. I always felt like it was really easy to unlock people in Smash Ultimate. I don't know. Hmm. Oh no! Oh wait, I was about to say more sports. But Mega Man Legends 2! I never played it. In Ultimate, you get every stage. Right, you get every stage, but not every fighter. <laughs> and the fighters just depend on what order you get them. Oh yeah, that's in... That's in, uh, World of Light. Oh. <laughs> Mega Man, I sleep. Huh? What do you mean? Actually, you know what? I've never been a big fan of the Mega Man Legend series. Uh, I remember playing the first one, it hasn't really been to my forte, but then again, I was younger then, and I was less open to stuff like that, so who knows? Maybe I might like it now. <laughs> Wave Race, I've never played any of those games. <laughs> they don't tell you how to unlock Sonic or Cloud in Melee. This magazine is garbage. <laughs> Alright, let me move that there. Crazy Taxi! How many of you guys have actually played Crazy Taxi? It's your favorite Mega Man game, to be honest. I've never played it. What's your opinions on Mega Man 2? Uh... It's okay. My favorite Mega Man game is probably, like, 5. Not only in World of Light, there is a hidden path depending on who you unlock first. Huh. You played Crazy Taxi on mobile and PS2. Crazy Taxi is on mobile? Since when? Mushroom Kingdom 2 annoys you. It's a small reason. It's because the stage is not in the Mushroom Kingdom. It's in Subcon, part of the Mushroom Kingdom. That is awkward, yeah. Oh, Disney's Atlantis. How many of you guys have seen this movie? Also, Doom on GBA. I've heard this port it isn't that good, I believe? I don't know. Doom on, on Game Boy Advance. Disney's At Atlantis, I've always associated as being a very boring Disney movie. Um, I might have watched it once. Hmm. Hey, look, it's a Smash bot, uh, fighter at the bottom of the right page. Huh? What are you What are you referring to? Tony Hawk? Oh, right page. Oh, this guy. <laughs> oh, Code Vault. Ooh, cheats. Big head player. <laughs> okay, we're. At, I guess we're just about getting to the end of this this magazine. Say goodbye, guys. Oh, I can't believe we. Oh, 
Oh, I love this game! Rayman Arena! Uh, I think Flurry has this game. That's I haven't played that in a minute, man. Wow. Oh yeah, I guess that's really it for this one. Bite. All right, so which one do you want to look at next? Nintendo Power from whichever year, or this one that's uh, right in the sweet spot of gaming? Good old '96. Just straight up called <laughs> Video Games Magazine. Ah oh, man, Rayman Arena. Video games? Okay. Hmm. This one's only 83 pages long, so it's gonna be a little shorter. Ah, oh, Super Mario RPG, yes! <laughs> Look at this art! Oh, I love this. I, I love the rendering for this. <laughs> Look at this peach. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen this. Very, very nice. You can't just run away from your problems anymore. From now on, you'll have to think on your feet. Okay, n nice description. I guess, uh, because Mario likes to jump a lot. Cool art. Wish it was re-released. <laughs> you see Sonic Extreme? Oh yeah, that was uh, the Sonic render that was there. <laughs> <laughs> but this time, you'll also need plenty of brains to finish. Mario RPG isn't really that hard. It's not a grind-heavy game. I don't know, what, what's, uh, what's your opinion if you've played Super Mario RPG? Alright, it's been a pleasure, guys. See y'all good night. See ya, Sir Maya. I hope you can, you'll maybe, like, watch the stream after I'm done. I don't know, maybe maybe something we see here might, might perk your interest. Pique your interest, I don't know. I, I can't speak English! Shut up! <laughs> Stop pretending like you can. Tomb Raider. I've never played Tomb Raider. Virtua Fighter 3. Need I say more? Yeah. Doom. Hmm. There's a bunch of games I haven't actually heard of here. June 96. I believe that's the exact same month that Mario 64 came out. You haven't played this RPG. Maybe after your Mario and Luigi RPG. Bro, Super Mario RPG is lit! I think it's on it's on SNES Mini, right? You still don't get why people still ask for Gino. This is his only appearance is in this RPG. I mean, he's not really that great. Uh, I don't tend to use him. <laughs> Happy Mind, good track. Oh yeah, this song. Yeah, it's hip to be Square. Square is the biggest and some would say the best RPG publisher and designer on earth. Is that still true today? Square Enix, yeah, more or less. Kinda. NBA Jam. I actually... So, on July 4th last year, I went to Coney Island. They had an NBA Jam arcade game from, like, the mid-90s there. I don't think this is the exact... Actually, it might be. I don't know. Yeah. I think this is it. Only in arcades? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I saw, I saw this. Like, in the year 2019. Very interesting. You saw that new Final Fantasy VII remake trailer? I, I did see it! Uh, it features cloud cross-dressing. Yeah? Classic cityscape? Yeah. Rolling around at the speed of sound! <laughs> okay, I can do better than that. Um, I'm just gonna have to wait for the music to loop again. The Super Bowl is just a sports game you can't control. Yeah. Oh, look at these gamers! Hell yeah, dude. Frank O'Connor, editor-in-chief. Look at his face. Jeff Higgins, associate editor. Gabe Soria. Look at this guy! <laughs> Wataru Maruyama, player of the year. John Patterson, copy editor. And Kent Bancroft. <laughs> Very cool. I really, I really like this guy's face. This guy and this guy. <laughs> Never heard of this game. Hmm, Capcom gets busy in 96. How so? 
Okay, we're seeing here, uh... Isn't this Marvel vs. Capcom, or is it just... No, Street Fighter Turbo. Hmm. Yeah, there's a little bit of Marvel here. <laughs> they, don't, they all look like they'd be a Nintendo YouTuber. Oh, that's an insult. Oh, this song! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold up real quick. I have to show you guys something. Hold on. Let me go, let me go to my YouTube. Wait. There's something really funny about this song that I have to bring up to you guys. Actually, uh l l let me let me shut this off real quick. I won't let you guys look at look at what um what I'm about to look at, but I I I need to bring this up. Just just because just because I do. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> the only reason why why I remember this song is the one Reggie skit. Oh, I love singing the song, man. <laughs> Here it comes. <laughs> I love this man. Isn't this something you retweet? I retweet a lot of a lot of Obama stuff. Mitt Romney. Ah, <laughs> uh, good old uh, ERB man. <laughs> Okay, very nice. I I, lo I love video games, guys, as you can tell. <laughs> I don't get enough Obama on my timeline. Exactly. <laughs> YouTube changed their layout again? What? <laughs> Barack did Obama. That was probably one of their best raps, too. Yeah. I'm not gonna let this battle be dictated by facts. Oh, it's this guy again. <laughs> Look at him. Look at this yeehaw cowboy. Very nice. I can do all the codes on Mortal Kombat 3, Killer Instinct, and Twisted Metal. 1996 Twisted Metal? Yeah, I guess so. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, look at this Mario Ultra 64, and you get to you get to look at this little bup here. Hey, look, Knuckles. Look at this bup. <laughs> now, whenever I think of of uh, Mario Maker Two, hey, Final Fantasy Seven, isn't this that uh, that new game that's coming out? Look at that. Let's take a closer look at these renders. Actually, look at the look at the chocobos. They make their jump to thirty two bit. Wireframes like this are used to create detailed three D structures. Oh yeah, dude. I bet that's like 300 tries. Man, it's been a long time since I've been here. We start to drift away from you after you finished Undertale series. Huh? You only watched me for Undertale? <laughs> Wait, no, <laughs> not a knock on you, but yeah, that 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 was a long time ago, I, I suppose. I'm glad to have you back. Hopefully, I can keep you entertained for long enough uh, before you uh, decide to run away again. But Final Fantasy VII, um, graphics like these are just the tip of the iceberg. Yeah. Well, this isn't fair. This is pre-rendered. What is this fake news? Bruh. Oh, 
Oh, look at these! Oh my god. Preliminary... Oh, this is the Sonic game that was never released! Look at this! This is a... Uh... Oh, what's it called? What was that Sonic on Saturn called? I don't remember. The new Genesis Sonic game uses a forced 3D perspective. I, I really like Sonic 3D Blast. I don't understand why people hate it. But this Sonic game looks like it could have been something, man. Look at that. Yeah, Mega Man 8. Yep. Sonic Extreme, there you go. Crash Bandicoot shows off his style. Of course, gotta respect Crash. Love that boy. Yeah. Sony and Sega are all set to go head-to-head -head in Giant Character War. Sonic the Hedgehog is back on both Saturn and Genesis, while Crash Bandicoot is Sony's newcomer. Developed by Universal Interactive. Need for a mascot or at least an identifiable game character has risen at the price, and average age of the people playing the machines has dropped. Sony, however, sees the PlayStation as an icon in itself. Crash Bandicoot is simply an exceptional game. Oh, very nice. Crash owes a lot to Sonic the Hedgehog in terms of history and gameplay. That's true. Uh, the basis of Crash Bandicoot is kind of taken from Sonic in the sense of, uh, you know, looking at Crash run from behind. I'm not sure if uh, a lot of you guys might have heard of the quote-unquote uh, Sonic's, Sonic's ass uh, <laughs> type of gaming. You're sure this Crash guy will have a bright future for the next 15 years? Well, we, we he certainly had his ups and downs, I suppose. <laughs> wow, is that swear? Huh? No. Oh, look at this. Sonic's creator has been hard at work on another project called Knights, which you can read about elsewhere in this section. Oh, speaking of Sonic 3D Blast. <laughs> Knights, I need to play that game at some point. That's always looked really interesting to me. This Rayman. Rayman 2. Oh, this is the, the 2D Rayman game, the one that was never released. Because uh, Rayman 2 ended up being a 3D game. But there is a... Like a little demo of this game, like an unfinished demo that's in like a PS2 version of Rayman 2, something like that, I don't know. Rayman Revolution, there you go. They have like a playable version of this. It's an unfinished game. That's on Steam by the way, what is? Oh, Rayman Revolution? Ness Rayman demo is the most surreal and strange thing. I'm not referring to that. That's something completely different. But that is really surreal. Ah, the Sega Saturn. Is now $250. Hold on. L let, me, let me just pull something up right now. If in 1996, I purchased something for $250... Then in 2020, it would cost $400 for the Sega Saturn. I mean, look, I think the PS3 cost like $500 at launch, something like that. I don't know. Typically, consoles nowadays cost like $300 at launch, right? You got to keep in mind, though, like inflation, inflation is a big thing. So yeah, $400 then? Wow. Saturn had $50 hacked from the recommended retail price. Ah, gotcha. Whoa, what's this? Open Bob. <laughs> Doom on Super NES. Really? In 96? There's no cheats in uh, Super NES version of Doom. No stage select, no god mode. Bruh. Okay, damn. Hmm. What is this? Uh, experts. It's really weird seeing, like, pre-rendered stuff on, like, on, um, uh, on video game boxes for, like, the Genesis era and the SNES era, because that's, I don't know, it's, like, just in that era where it's, like, just starting to become a thing. Like, didn't, didn't Toy Story come out in, like, 1995 or something like that? Yeah. That's really weird looking at that. I always associate like Genesis and SNES with like 2D, 2D graphics and all that. 
I mean, a lot of people would. <laughs> look at look at this logo though. This uh, Sega Genesis in a in a TV box logo. <laughs> you know, the Saturn was meant to release in September of '95, but Sega rushed it to release in May of that year. Didn't they? Wasn't it like they 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 released it like unexpectedly? Like wasn't it at like E3 or something? It was some special event where like they just randomly announced it, and they're like. Sega Saturn is out now, and yeah, I guess I don't know. I've heard something about that, like it's out today or something. I don't know, something like that. I always like the odd 3D model renders on covers. Yeah, walk through walls. Uh, Captain Quasar. Never heard of that. I've heard of Johnny Quasar. <laughs> Big heads. Oh, this is for uh, an anime game. <laughs> hmm. These are a bunch of games I've never heard of. Final Fight 3, Tales Adventure. Aww. That's a game I remember playing on... I believe it was on Sonic Gems Collection, right? Which, which Sonic Collection had the Game Gear games? Actually, now that I think about it, didn't, didn't Sonic Adventure DX have them? I believe so. Uh, I've never played any Earthworm Gym games. That's always just kind of eluded me. Whoa! The ultimate gaming rig! What? The Jaguar, the Virtual Boy, Saturn, P PS1, and the 3DO, all in one. And look at his, uh, he has a little sub woof! And an RGA satellite dish. Huh. Over twenty thousand dollars in prizes. Wow. <laughs> Rate my gaming setup. He has the Virtual Boy. I like how the Virtual Boy is here and like the Super Nintendo isn't, or the Game Boy Advance. Just, just the Virtual Boy. That's that's the only Nintendo rep here. Cool. Hmm. Wait, is this how you win? Mystery word grid. Heck, pinch. What, what is this supposed to be? Hmm. I don't know. My entry fee? This is a scam. Ah! Oh, they're making you pay to enter the, the the contest. You know they win a lot from that. Okay, it's, it's probably not a scam, but I I don't really trust stuff like that. What is this music? This song is from F Zero. I also like 3D models turned into sprites, specifically Sonic 3 and Knuckles, uh, Donkey Kong Country, and Sonic 3D Blast. Yeah. Oh, the 32X. Is that Spooderman? Spell You Are Lazy on the controller by pressing up, right, L, A, Z, Y. That's that's really that's really inventive. I like that. Oh, there's a lot of representation for Battle Arena Toshiden. Hmm. Oh, what's this? Creature Shock. Hmm. Night Warriors. Uh, I've never heard of these. <laughs> video games. All new video games, baseball games. <laughs> Imagine just buying a cap that just says video games on it. Yeah, I guess. Hmm. Uh. In the hunt for PS1. Doo -doo -doo. Mortal Kombat 2 on Saturn. Hang on. Uh, D. Twisted Metal. Street Fighter Alpha. Hmm. And the Alien Trilogy. I didn't know that was a thing at this time. That's an ironic gamer hat for sure. <laughs> oh, what is this? Look at this bootleg Mario. I've never heard of this game. Clockwork Knight? Okay, well, <laughs> it just kind of looked like him from afar. <laughs> 
Yeah, I don't know anything about that. I'm very, very un uneducated on the Sega Saturn. That just seems like a very mysterious console to me. It's like copyright free magazine brands you see on TV. Aw, oh, video game tips and tricks. Ultimate combat codes. Yeah. <laughs> PC zone? Oh, what's on PC in the year 1996? I don't think PC gaming's really got, um, really went anywhere. Aside from, I think, having Doom. Hmm. Ooh, this song. Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> Also, a Monty Python game. I didn't know that was a thing. Hmm. PC gamers, yeah. Peripherals! Oh, look at this gaming chair! Thunder Sea Ace! Affordably priced $160! Yeah! <laughs> Look at his joystick! Hmm. What is this? <laughs> what is it? What are, what are these used for? Like a little tilt? What is this? With all the PC pinball simulators cur- All the PC pinball simulators currently- What is that? Just like a common thing? I, I've only ever heard of one PC pinball game and that's Space Cadet. The Wizard. Flippers, what? This is so strange. <laughs> so this is supposed to emulate like a pinball machine in the sense that you press this and it's supposed to press a button on your keyboard that activates the flippers in the game. What? That's so unnecessary. <laughs> How much would this cost? For like just a small piece, well, two small pieces of plastic. Also, look at this. The internet in 96. Oh. Dark times. <laughs> Affordably priced. But Chris, immersion. <laughs> no. Oh, what's... Uh, what's this? What are these guys' names? Is this NSYNC? Is this uh, Backstreet Boys? What is this? Or Bush. Whatever that is. I, I don't know. I don't know any 90s boy bands. Green Day? No. I, I don't know if Green Day would have this like weird old guy in it. <laughs> Alright, zoom out. Ew, what is this? Jumping Flash 2? That is a game I've heard of. Uh, apparently it's really good. Hold on, let me, let me show you guys a little bit of this. Jumping Flash... Two. Hold up. Backstreet's back. All right. So this is what this game looks like. Hold on. You play it uh, in like a first person point of view and you just like jump around. I don't know. What do you guys think of, of a game like this? I should I should play this at some point. This kind of looks like a game that would be on, like, a SNES, almost. Like, through, like, the use of the, uh, Super FX chip or something. I don't know. I, I doubt, like, a Super Nintendo could handle this. So, I, yeah, I guess for a PS1, it makes sense. <laughs> looks like Star Fox meets, uh, 3D ra Racer FMX. Uh, it was on PS1 Classics, that's all you know. There you go. Yeah, but I've never played Jumping Flash 1 or 2. This this render is really creepy. <laughs> the Die Hard Trilogy. My boy Flair, I believe he has a Die Hard game on PS1. You saw Nico B stream that game, it's awesome. I've heard it's good. I've never played it though. Ah, Killer Instinct. Uh, I've never played this. Again, just heard it's really cool, and of course, pre-rendered graphics on an N64 game. Always neat. 
But uh, this was at a time where the N64 wasn't out yet, I believe. So it was probably on, on uh, what it, what's it called? Arcades. Ah, here you go, Virtua Fighter 3. Yes, of course, amazing graphics for the time. Never heard of this. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Turok Dinosaur Hunt Hunter. Uh, I've only played the Turok games on Game Boy. Game Boy, Game Boy Color. But never on N64. Uh, must be decent if there's like three, three Turok games on N64. There's Turok 1, 2, and Rage Wars. Uh, sounds like Sonic Unleashed. Uh, this song is from Mario Kart 8. It's Ice Ice Outpost. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Ice Ice Outpost. First look. SNES Mohawk and Headphone Jack. What? Oh, it's, it's a game called Mohawk and Headphone Jack. I was... <laughs> okay. Look at this tiny little, little, like, crossword puzzle. Let me see if I can solve this. Hold on. In Bart's Nightmare, Bart's, okay, Bart's Nightmare, that game, that's the game that the Nostalgia Critic apparently got, like, a lot of flack for, because I believe it was, like, his first ever Let's Play or something like that. He did a Let's Play of that game, and people hated him for him. But, uh, Bart loses his homework? Let's see, H-O-M-E-W-O-R-K, there you go. Uh, number one, hot new PC game, Duke Nukem, N-U-K-E-M. Two, uh, Rob Lowe stars in, okay, I, I don't know, Jill Valentine, that I know, Gex's favorite delicacy. Guys, you guys need to help me out, I need to, I need to cut this out, and I need to, to give it to the, to the people here. We gotta call Funko. I don't know what we win, actually, yeah, what, what do we win? Wait, a game of our choice? Let's see, what's a good game that we can pick out? Uh, assuming we do win this. Hmm, Super Mario Land. Super Mario Land. Uh, hmm. Final Fantasy 2, Final Fantasy 3, Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. <laughs> Donkey Kong Sis. Okay. Oh, here we go, we have... I'm going by uh, systems. S Super Mario 2, Super Mario 3. I don't know. Which game do you guys think I should get? Hmm. <laughs> Toy Story on Game Boy. Super Metroid? Is that is that on here? Yeah, it's there. Okay. <laughs> Mario Tres. <laughs> Guys, we can still win. Yeah, let's just see when uh when we need to submit this by. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I saw April April 30th, 1996. We will also offer Sega CD, CDX. What the hell is a CDX? 32X and 3DO. Ew. Hmm. Only a little bit late, but I'm sure it's fine. The thing that matters is that I'm actually able to solve that crossword puzzle. What is this? Motor Tune GP. Why does my guy look like he belongs on like the Rice Krispie box? <laughs> He looks like one of one of them boys. Snap, crackle, and pop. I've never heard of this game. It looks. I like the art style for it though. It's. It looks neat. Hmm. And <laughs> look at this super realistic guy. What, what is this? Meteors. Originally appearing on 3DO. All oh, well. Rip. I hope, uh, I hope, I wish you well on your, your endeavors with that electronic arts. 
Hmm, Disruptor. Man, like, early, early P PS1 is something to behold. They make a, a lot of use of, of sprites in, like, 3D environments. Title Tempest? Yeah. Forgotten mascots. <laughs> oh, look at this gamer. What is he doing? You play Jock Lamont, an ex Gumshoe. <laughs> Gumshoes. You, how, how many of you guys have ever watched uh, Where in the World is Gum. Ah, what's it called? Carmen San Diego. There you go. Yeah, how many of you guys have ever watched that show? Hmm. 3DO. Yeah, th does the 3DO just have, like, a lot of FMV stuff? Like, wh why am I seeing a whole bunch of this? Mm -hmm. They look like Hanna-Barbera characters. Hey, a first look at Tomb Raiders with an S. <laughs> Yet they have Tomb Raider right here. Okay. Uh, I've never played Tomb Raider. I want to play it at some point. Uh, by now, if you own a PlayStation, you played Resident Evil and insisted it's the best game ever. I'll bet you're saying to yourself, wow, I wish there was a sequel or something to this really cool game. I don't know about sequels, and Tomb Raider certainly isn't made by Capcom, but this little number looks like the... as though it'll be an ast another astonishing 3D adventure experience. How many of you guys have played a Tomb Raider game? Uh, from what I've heard, I think Lara Croft actually runs on, like, tank controls. At least for, like, this game. Wouldn't it be funner, funny if Tomb Raider was, like, really bad? Is it? <laughs> Wait, is it? Oh, hey, look, it's my... Well, not my favorite game, because this one's on Game Boy. This is a really bad port, by the way. Graphics? Yeah, I guess... Sound, okay, sound should be like zero. Hold on. L let me show you guys. Look, I love Toy Story on SNES, but Toy Story on, on Game Boy. Oh. Oh. Mmm. A little. Oh, yeah. You own Tomb Raider 1 through 4, never played them. Can't be worse than Mega Man 2 Game Boy. Oh, you, you haven't seen how this game... Oh, look at it. Ah! It hurts. <laughs> it hurts! Very nice. Very cool, Pixar. <laughs> I, I like that. <laughs> Save Andy. <laughs> There's some good crust. Oh. Oh, you ha you haven't seen crust. Oh, no. How about Mortal Kombat 2? I don't know why why some, some game developers had, like, a fixation on putting 3D rendered graphics on Game Boy. But it was a thing that happened. And it, it didn't work out so well. Okay, this one's actually a little decent. Uh, it's a little, it's a little fast-paced. You know what? Yeah, this one's fine. It's one of the other Mortal Kombat games that's really bad. Is it this one? I mean, you just saw a video popped up mentioning it. Oh, this one. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh! I thought it was—I thought that was like some weird like feature from this game, but no, he—he he just ran out of health. Cool. Primal Rage. Th this is that really weird game that AVGN talked about. I remember that. <laughs> Title screen music was bopping. Not gonna lie, he do be looking a little fresh though. I'm trying to be crit. I'm trying to be crit. Cause they want to be cut. <laughs> uh, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 Oh, you get to see the prices of all these games Which are $60 Isn't that weird? 
because of course inflation's a thing. Yeah, games would have costed roughly around a hundred dollars then. Wow. Okay, no, <laughs> we don't want to look at those. Also, arcade, cl <laughs> arcade classics graphics for. I guess, yeah. <laughs> Try Shrek Fairy Tale Freakdown. Oh, oh, Protoman. Oh no. No, you're you're giving me bad memories, man. No, why'd you mention that? Because a certain 75 Chris 5 has actually played that game. And it has over a thousand views! Who did this? Who gave this views? Do I dare look at this? This was from five years ago! Guys, brace yourselves. <laughs> Get your hazmat suits ready. We're, we're gonna look at a, a very old 75 Chris 5 Let's Play. This is, this is gonna be a very... Oh no. Oh hey, I decided to make a video. Oh god, shut up! Shut up! Ugh. I can't. It's Shrek, fairy tale freak. Ah! And of course, we're gonna go and play this in. Ah! Oh, I was 16 when I made this. Was I? Wait, no. I was. Yeah, I was just about to turn 17. I turned 17 on May 7th, uh, 2014. Ah! Oh, it hurts, man. Wait, what? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> There's an American setting and an English setting. I guess, uh, if... For those of you guys who want to see color spelled with a U. <laughs> At least your voices... It's not the same. I, I have a little bit more of a, of a lisp back then. I mean, do I sound the same? Do I really? I feel like I'm a little bit more expressive. If anything. Oh no. No. You know what that uh, that is a joke I'd make now. Qu quote unquote joke. That is something I would do now if I were playing a bad game. But yeah, th this game <laughs> Right, the 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 face of Shrek in this game. Oh. Is this all you do? Very nice. Uh, why, why would why would over a thousand people watch this? <laughs> okay, let's disregard that comment. <laughs> it's a natural human reaction. <laughs> Good comment. No, uh, disregard that, please. Second two. Uh, no. Wow. Wow, look at the rating on this. Okay, I need to get on Tekken. Apparently, my, my supervisor was like, Chris, you never played Tekken on PS1? I'm like, no. Like, Wait, what? Why not? I'm like, I'm, I'm a little too too young, I guess. Because I, you got to keep this in mind. I didn't grow up during, like, the PS1 era. I grew up at a time where the PS2 and the PS3 started being a thing, but I couldn't afford a PS2 or a PS3, so. No one was really there to tell me about Tekken. Uh... All the hand-me-downs I got were like of of uh, the Crash games and all that. Anyways, let me go back to playing my old music. Ah, oh. okay. I I need to quickly change this video to something else. So, so qu let's quickly find uh, something. Ah, there you go. Final Fantasy Seven. I don't know what that sound was though. Let's see, RPG News by Wataru Maruyama. Let's see what some of these blurbs say. I'm not really sure uh, you can possibly comp comprehend the epic quest that will be Final Fantasy VII. But let's start by saying that it will come on two CDs. It didn't. It came out on three. <laughs> uh, and have, oh, about a thousand megs or so worth of pure gaming. Well, I wouldn't say pure gaming. A lot of it is pre-rendered FMVs. Well, not a lot of it. Like, a good chunk of it is. Mm, 
well, I say good chunk in the sense that, you know, I think it's impressive how much of it there is. But I guess, yeah, there is a lot of game in this game. Very, very good to hear. <laughs> nah, bro, I don't play Tekken. I play real fighting games like Dragon Ball Z, Budokai Tenkaichi 3. Are you calling FF7 tainted gaming? What? <laughs> a thousand megs? We've reached Apex, boys. Isn't a thousand megs just a gig? Okay, I, I might be showing my lack of, like, computer knowledge, but... I mean, about a thousand megs? If that's a gigabyte, FF7 isn't, like, about a gigabyte. It's, like, at least, like, two. Two or three. Hmm... At least if we're saying, like, if if you, like, dumped the pure ISO file uh, online or something. Because I'm pretty sure, like, Steam's would be different. Like, they're... Like, when you when you download the app... Not the app, the, the actual game on there. And it's, like, a desktop shortcut. I don't know. I don't know how Steam works. Boom R. Hmm. Doo -doo -doo. Chocobos are going to be in 7. You can see from the pictures, the world you navigate through looks unbelievably detailed. <laughs> I mean, I I don't think you're you're talking about the overworld. That that does not look unbelievably detailed. That's very very primitive. Legend of Mana uh is like three gigs. There you go. Uh, the characters themselves don't look as good as the SGI models that was supposedly from the N64. Re wait, really? I don't know about that. I don't know about that. D do these look better than than what ended up popping up on on the the PS One version? Like, what, what would you guys say? I really hope uh, Nobuo Umatsu doesn't come after me for. Streaming his music. I believe it. You think these graphics are better than what uh, actually ended up being released? Yeah? I mean, this is just like a short demo too. So, I doubt they could make a whole game based off of this. In fact, that's probably the reason why they put it on PS1. Also, lag. Incredible amounts of lag. Okay. I'm just gonna have to put that away then. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. Available December 2nd in Japan and quarter US. I mean quarter... Quarter 97? And December 2nd, 96, I believe. Huh. Only thing is, they wouldn't have done... Uh, FMV on N64. Exactly. Hmm. Okay, I've never heard of any of these games. What is this? Hold on. Bearing more than a passive resemblance to Zelda, here comes Shining Wisdom, developed by Sonic Team and translated and released here by Working Designs. So, Sonic Team, for those who don't know, actually ended up being Camelot. Uh, the same people who made Golden Sun. I mean, I guess it kind of does look like Zelda, or at least one character looks like Zelda. Hmm. But as for these other games, I've I don't know anything about them. The Shining Wisdom uh, caught my attention because um, I've been playing the Shining Force games recently. Hmm. Wild Arms, I've heard of. This is an RPG that's on PlayStation, I believe. Lunar Remix. I don't know anything about this Lunar game. Rip Camelot. Banished to Mario Sports Hell. Yeah. But there's like four generations of Sonic Team. I, I don't think that Sonic Team is the same thing as... Actually, I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Ignore me. Giant Enemy Crab. 
I'm gonna... Ah, oh, E3! Bro, E3-96. Let's take a look at that. E3-1996. Someone out there has footage of that. Okay, not Scott the Waz. Can I, can I take this off my feed? Mm, I'll spare him. Okay. Hmm. Oh, look at that. Held in Los Angeles. Wow. Wait, is this in 60 FPS? This is lit! Guys, 60 FPS is the new wave. Hmm. We get to see some early footage of uh, Mario 64. <laughs> some Star Wars game. Mm, let me see. Fighting game I've never heard of. Oh, look! Sonic Extreme. This is the uh, the unreleased Sonic game. Hold on. It is smooth for the win. Okay, but that last acronym put backwards. Here we go. So this right here is a Sonic game that never came out. Uh, and whoa, yo, this looks awesome. Wait, how come this is the first time I'm ever seeing this footage? Yo. Extreme 3D. Wow. I mean, it looks trippy as all hell. But I, I want to play that. Look at that. I feel like if they could make this work, this would have been, like, groundbreaking. That poor dev nearly killed himself for this game. Yeah, I've heard of that. Hmm. That ring spiral is begging to be light to speed dashed. Oh yeah. This game looks like it might control a little awkward. Like, it's a little too slippery. Whoa. Oh, oh, he almost died. Yo, it, it really does look like there was so much work put into this game, but, like, why did it get cancelled? Oh well, it's done. Yeah, that was that was a lot of footage from that. Wow. Okay, let me take a, some more uh, looks at this. RPGs. Oh, I like that. Like a 3D like battle screen. That's neat. And now Dragon Quest, I mean Force. Oh, it's early Crash Bandicoot. It looks exactly like Golden Sun. Eagle Raptor wouldn't cut me off. <laughs> oh, this is Contra, isn't it? This is one of those Contra games that's on PS1. Freak Boy, Nintendo 64. I wonder if this ever got released. Hmm. I've never seen this before. Looks interesting. Too bad we never got the ROM that contained those levels. Uh, you're referring to Sonic Extreme? Jet Moto. My cousin keeps talking to me about this game. He keeps mentioning this game to me, rather. He's like, Chris, you don't remember playing Jet Moto? We used to play when we were kids. I'm like, no. Yeah, I don't know anything about this. 
Ooh. Rough. Hmm. Wow, now I'm in the gamer's seat. Apparently it was cancelled? Aw, oh, Freak Boy? Aw. Oh. Feels bad, man. Hmm. Yep, I guess that's all we really have for E3... E396. Very nice. Epic gamer seat. They say Sonic Lost World level design isn't inspired by Extreme, but I beg to differ. Yeah. I agree with that. Box score report card. What's this? Oh, you're grading the, the games. Or sports games. Ugh. Let me, let me just, uh... Flip the page. <laughs> God, why would you ever play a sports game on Game Boy? <laughs> and with a weird, like, 3D view on a D pad. Flips the page to more sports. Oh, God. <laughs> what is this? Can't stop, must pop, must bust. Something, I'm dust, can't stop, uh, or else I'm dust. Oh god. Bust a move. This looks horrifying. What? What is, why? <laughs> okay, well, we're done with this one. Yoink. Now, it's finally time to go to NINTENDO! Them boys. <laughs> That's graphic. Ah, <laughs> uh, alright, let's switch to some non-Sonic music for once, eh? Okay, you know what, let's, let's play the Sonic music then. <laughs> I have way too many Sonic tracks on in this playlist. It's 11.50 now? <gasps> oh god, I gotta sleep. Alright, uh, which issue do you guys want to look at? I'm pretty sure they don't have every single one. So, uh, j just pick a random one from a random year. Sixty-nine. We're looking at February 1995. That is... I think the Virtual Boy was just coming out. <laughs> You'd rather lose your lunch in assembly than find yourself in Donkey Kong Country without this player guide. Would I? <laughs> Would I? <laughs> Whoa, Mega Man X2. Oh, I, I, I've heard about this. Uh, so apparently a Game Boy like, survived the war, right? Or something like that. Hold on. Last summer while in Italy, I was visiting my friends at their grandmother's house in the countryside... It has been a yearly tradition to bake homemade bread there. This year we want to make something new. This is our bread boy. I would appreciate it. Okay, never mind. So there's a picture out there of a Game Boy having survived the Gulf War. I thought this is what that was, but... No, I, I guess they made a Game Boy out of bread. I mean, granted, it doesn't work, but yeah. Wanted, your thoughts on the Virtual Boy concept. Good, bad, or indifferent, we want them. Oh, I bet. <laughs> ah, Donkey Kong Land. How many of you guys have played that game? I have that on... On, um... Yeah, I wish I could show you. Like, I actually have the cartridge, like... Not even, like, a foot away from me. Very close to me. Features, Mega Man X2, Kirby's Dream Course, Lion King Part... Lion King Part 2? You're referring to... To a page that's on the Lion King that's like continued from a previous magazine? I don't know. That Game Boy in Nintendo NY. Oh, it's it's there? Really? 
I didn't know that. Very interesting. Okay, let me let me read this right here. Ode to Nintendo. I think that I shall never see someone who can pass level three with Goombas and Koopas and Bomb Bombs galore. Of course, there are, are a whole lot more. I cannot defeat the Piranha Plant. I just can't seem to. No, I can't. But I'll set it on the easy mode and use my super secret code. I die on the stage where Mario dives, but I just got 200 lives. Beat level 3, ha! I can do it, if I just put my mind to it. Oh no, I lost. This is so lame. Want to use Nintendo game? No. <laughs> okay, first and foremost, you died on a stage where Mario dives. In what game does Mario dive? You mean like to a pit? What, what does that mean? Little Timmy on quick play cannot be planned. <laughs> that's a that's a an extremely casual gamer. That that poem made me cringe uh, quite a lot. Wow, there's a lot on Mega Man X2. I I haven't beaten this game. I've played a lot of it. I've never beaten it. Maybe diving like swimming? I guess, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, wow, they're, they're crazy on Mega Man X2. Hmm. Okay, I respect the hustle. You put in all the maps, you put in like enemy weaknesses, where all the secret stuff is. Very good. Okay. Nintendo Power is making my <laughs> my search online worthwhile. Yeah. Is this Puyo Pop? No. For a second, it kind of looked like it. The game called Pieces. Hmm. Muegamin. Oh, hey. It's that one game that I was playing music from earlier. Sink Kirby. Oh. <laughs> wow, and they have maps from all the all the stages, or at least some of. Let me see. Oh yeah, they have a lot of they have a lot of maps here. And Kirby's Avalanche, which is Puyo Pop, or Mean Bean Machine. I, I never understood why why they like never they, they never changed these things up. What are these called? Because I just considered them mean beans. But maybe Puyo Pop calls them something else. I don't know. <laughs> they even go into the extra lives. Puyo? Puyo. Oh. Stage 6, Hakuna Matata. Okay, so yeah. It's a continuation from something that was on a previous issue. Um, fun fact, guys. I've never actually seen the ending to The Lion King. So please do not spoil. I know this movie is like 25 years old, but please... It's not spoil! Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, this <laughs> you're not you're not making me any favors by uh, showing me this. Oh, here it is, Donkey Kong Land. Okay, so I own this game. This is my cousin's like favorite game. When I I brought it to her. Spoiler: Lions. Oh God, I, I remember. Was it from Kingdom Hearts one or two? Like they made Pete turn into a lion, and it looks disgusting. Yeah, I don't know why Donkey Kong Land has flying pigs. Monkey. Oh, this this looks really, really awkward. Does does this version of Little Mac 
exist in any way, like, in Smash? Like, is, is there an alt colored by this? Like, I can't remember. Like, obviously not. Like, the facial structure is going to be different, but... I don't know. Is his hair color at least the same or something like that? Aw, oh, this song. KH2, there you go. Why did Donkey Kong get his own show? Hey! Hey, Kevin. Hey! Are you trying to diss Donkey Kong Country, the TV series? I actually have that on VHS. It's feature length, I'll have you know. But, not only that, it's a really good show. It's really funny, I like it. Anyways, back to this music. Maybe that brown hair, alt hair? Oh, maybe. But, uh, I've never played Super Punch Out. I know it's on SNES Online. Did you rhyme on purpose? I, I don't know. <laughs> Do I ever? <laughs> Banana Slamma Boy. Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. How many of you guys can actually guess where this music is from? Wait, what's this music? Okay. Can you guess? Can you guess where this song is from? You got nothing? Is it- <laughs> Is it Animal Crossing? <laughs> no. You guess Mega Man? No. Sounds familiar. It is a game I played on stream before. It was in like... Mid-2017 though. No, so, so this music comes from the hit classic, Yo Noid 2. Yeah, this is, that was, I believe, uh, the final battle music. <laughs> Yo Noid, wow. Yeah, Yo, Yo Noid 2. You should, uh, you should try that game. This is from Street Fighter 3. Third Strike, this song right now I'm playing. Okay, wow, there's, there's a lot of fights in this game. Street Fighter 3, by the way, is a game I've never played. I'm just playing music from that game because it's lit. You're playing this game right now? <laughs> <laughs> wow, so, someone put their uh, their high record high records world records here. Imagine beating beating one of these like close to end game guys in like less than 20 seconds. <laughs> you remember you drew a philosophical tomato when I played Noid 2. Yeah. Memories. Oh, that's not good. Guys, don't drink gasoline. Imagine beating a ghost in Mario Kart Wii. I've... I might have beaten, like, a couple of ghosts in, in Mario Kart games. Does Mario Kart 8 have ghosts? Does it have a ghost in it? Oh god, fishing games. Oh no. Don't like. Ah, oh, the super effects. Star Fox 2. <laughs> the big news this summer uh, for the Super NES will be the release of Star Fox 2 from Nintendo. Even now, the game is far along in development. It looks awesome. Every area of the game has been improved dramatically over the excellent original. Well, actually, this game was finished. It's just a matter of they never released it for whatever reason. Awful. They should have. I guess like production costs and like might have might have caused a problem with that. So they they just waited for a time when they could actually emulate it. What is this? I've never seen this. Dirt tracks FX. Watch this not be a thing. Did this ever release? Oh my god. Okay, th this? Hold on. You blame Miyamoto, yeah. Wait, did this get released? This is on Super Nintendo. 
I mean, it runs a lot better than, uh, what's that game called that's on, it's on the, the SNES Online, Stunt Race FX. It's kind of choppy, but not as, like, agonizingly slow as, uh, Stunt FX or whatever it's called. Interesting. Play the arranged version of Ibuki's theme now. I don't know who that is. So I cannot help. FX is awful, it is. <laughs> what is this? What what is this? Have you guys ever seen this? Why does the screen look like that? Maybe I've just never played like two players on Donkey Kong Country, but that I don't know, this I've Always seen this as like green. Yeah, huh. Whatever. Just seemed odd. Or from Jim again. I've never played. It controls so bad. Stunt race effects. Yeah. Ooh, Mickey Mania. Hmm. Wait, excuse me? Secret players. Bill Clinton. Al Gore. Okay. Nice. <laughs> X-Men, I don't know anything about this. Uh, this is an interesting picture. Wait, can X-Men retract his claws? Well, yeah, I guess so. See, I don't know anything about superheroes. <laughs> the percussion took the day off for this track. <laughs> nah, this is a this is a mix I made. Hmm. Ooh, Clay Fighter. Uh, never played it, but it's always looked pretty cool. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Soft Comet! A new member! As in, this guy has never been a member before. He has the little baby cat symbol. Aww. Soft Comet, man. Bless up. Bless up to that boy. Woo! Now you can use one of our many... A <laughs> sponsor exclusive, uh, I was about to say symbols, uh, emotes. I don't know. Go, go ahead, go crazy and use them, right? They're one of the only perks you can really get aside from, I, I guess, supporting me. Thank you very much, Soft Comet. I appreciate it. Bro, look at this chungus. <laughs> Ah, oh, Final Fantasy three. <laughs> hmm. Oh, they would always do something like where, where they would like compare scores and stuff, right? No, this isn't that, but uh, I guess this is like for a challenge? When you play Final Fantasy 3, the game keeps track of each step you take. We want to see who can take the fewest steps on their way to getting Mog to join their party. How how soon does that happen? I think that's like... Hmm. That might be like some three or four hours into the game, I think. <laughs> the twin brother, Raz Jackrabbit. <laughs> Bro, where's the where's the virtual boy stuff? I don't care about any of this. Whoa! Look at this happy boy. <laughs> Ooh. Don't don't get la. 
I love this game. But it's a little it's a little clunky. Donkey Kong Land. Donkey! <laughs> also this frontal view. Oh this song! I love this song! I gotta I gotta bring it up. How many of you guys know where this song is from? Oh, look at this guy. Okay, so this is really weird because this this Kong ended up being unused. Kevin, you know where this song is from? Pray tell the chat then. Hmm. Yeah, this guy... Why is he, like, so prominently featured here? Is this supposed to be Donkey Kong? Sonic Jam? Yeah, there you go. It's from Sonic Jam. Donkey and Diddy strutted their stuff in this winter's mega hit for the Super NES. Wait, so this is supposed to be Donkey Kong? Im is the implication that this is Donkey Kong and he's strutting his way onto Game Boy? It's, it's weird. <laughs> I, I like how they they had a render for the for the little what's it called tornado. Also, what is this like Mark of the Beast stuff? This looks creepy. Why is this here? Colorized cart. Yeah. So the cartridge for this game is actually yellow. It's banana yellow. Oh, this guy is supposed to be this guy up here. What is Mr. Peanut doing streaming? He's streaming? I thought he was dead. <laughs> you know nearly all of the Sonic disco uh, discography. You have problems. Hmm. Donkey Kong Land, a new baddies. You'll meet all kinds like the Puka, the Rasher, and Puka Jr. He's a baby now? He's reincarnated? Bruh. All about ACM. The same wireframe skeletons used to create animated 3D images in Donkey Kong Country were used for Donkey Kong Land. Using powerful silicon graphic workstations and power animator software from Elias, the images are then shaded and manipulated to create all kinds of movement. Oh, yeah, of course! I agree! <laughs> now this track I know. <laughs> Yeah. Isn't Puka a dig dug enemy? Yeah. He's called Baby Nut. Noise. <laughs> Bet. I love this song, man. Da -da. Da -da -da. All right, Sop uh, Super NES Top 20. Let's see, DKC, FF3, Mortal Kombat 2, Disney's Aladdin, Link to the Past, Super Metroid, Earthworm Jim, Super Punch-Out, Star Fox 2, Mega Man X, NHL Hockey 95, Star Fox, NBA Jam. <laughs> Interesting how Star Fox... Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. What? How how can you put how can you put Star Fox 2 here? It's not released. It hasn't been released yet. Also, isn't this from like February of like 95? You said that Star Fox 2 was releasing in the summer. This game was supposed to come out 3 months later and then it never ended up coming out. And it's somehow in the top 20. <laughs> cool. You're reading the comic uh to this for sure. Select a game, Chris. No. Mm -hmm. They probably planned it. Played it. Uh, I mean, maybe. Odd, though. Burnt. 
the mother of all RPGs. Very cool. With more screen text for more situations than practically any RPG ever, Earthbound, Nintendo's upcoming RPG, will be an extremely difficult game to translate. Hmm. I like that there's coverage about that here. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Dan Osen. You know Dan's work from The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past and Link's Awakening. But this project should be a little different. Earthbound has tons of science fiction elements that I think might make it more appealing to the US audience. Yeah. <laughs> Throw in some playful elements like Crazy Tracy in Link's Awakening. Wow, you really have to be like a Nintendo nerd to like enjoy some of the stuff here. That was from Sonic Gems Collection? No, that was Mega Collection Plus. Oh, he's doing a Kamehameha with like Super Nintendo games. Big with the games. Oh, what's this? Kellogg's Nintendo powerful prizes. Oh. Two hundred and fifty of these, seven hundred and fifty of these, just no no TV, okay. Hong Kong country caps. Just look for these. Four thousand Game Boys. Hm. With Donkey Kong ninety four? Lit I love that game. That's a really good game. Donkey Kong on Game Boy. These stickers are free. Boo. Boring. <laughs> look at those old Apple Jacks. Cereal box prizes are a scam? No. I mean, granted, I've never won a prize. Well, no, that's not true. I won... I once won a Star Wars spoon through a... through a cereal box. That and some weird Tony the Tiger microphone PC game. Hmm. Donkey Kong Country mazes uh, on the back of Frosted Flakes box? Interesting. Coming soon to your home, Nintendo Ultra 64. Play your ar favorite arcade game for free. Huh. Wait. Hold up. What? Play your favorite arcade game free. So, this is early 95. The N64 didn't come out until, like, at least 15 months later. Play your favorite arcade game for free. So, either you you mean... You're gonna bring like an actual arcade cabinet at home or a very early model of the N64 because I know damn well no kid's gonna want to wait like a whole year to actually receive. I wonder what that deal was like. No checks quest? No, I don't play checks quest. Well, we're done, uh, we're done with this. Sad gamer moment. Uh, you know what? Let's look at one more. Hmm. Let's try... Christmas 98. Why not? Alex just wants to... Eh, wants kids to gamble uh, on their cereals. Okay, Star Wars, Rogue Squadron. So I believe by this point in time, late 98, Link's... No, Ocarina of Time was already released. You got a step counter from the from the cereal box once. Uh, the obesity epidemic was real. Oh. oh, speaking of Ocarina of Time. Your choice, free, uh, with Nintendo Power subscription. What is this, save $10 off a Zelda game pack? Hmm. Wait, uh... You can bank an official player's guide soundtrack CD. No, an official player's guide, comma, soundtrack CD, or $10 off a Zelda game pack. Huh? Okay. Well, w which one is worth more, huh? Hmm. I wonder. Okay, get Nintendo Power Magazine, da da da. 
Okay, so if you have the magazine, you can get one of these. So, you should get this assuming you don't already have it. Interesting. I just figured this came it with like the actual game pack. But no, okay. Taking an L, but yeah, obviously the player's guide. I take that. Castlevania returns in 1998. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hmm. Oh, look at this. With my paid subscription, please send the following free gift of my choice. Player's Guide, Soundtrack CD, $10 off Game Pack Coupon. Yeah, that last one is... Ugh. That's cheap. Call number now, Chris. You totally have the magazine. Are you sure? Why dare call this number? Toll free? Guys, let's try it. Hold on. I'm gonna put it on speaker as well. <laughs> Good job, NATO. Good call, rather. Let's call 1 800 255. And they better not charge me for this. I. <laughs> Alright, so I'm calling 1 800 255 3700. So let me pause the music real quick. And, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's see what calling this number does right now. I'm gonna put you on speaker. You guys hear that? Hi, you've reached Nintendo. And even though we're closed right now, you can visit our website, supports.nintendo.com, to access troubleshooting, set parental controls, check order status, and internet connection help, or use our forums. You can also submit a help ticket for common questions, like transferring games, for problems with prepaid cards at supports.nintendo.com slash contact us. I want to stay on the line. We've pulled together a list of our most common questions and the easiest way to get that answer online. You may also call us back during normal business hours, 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. <laughs> do that. Pacific, seven days a week. Please select from the following options for help in our most common questions. To reset your parental controls or check the status of an order or repair, press 1. For connection to the internet or Netflix or help with system updates and error codes, press 2. For help transferring content between systems, press 3. For troubleshooting or setting up a repair, press 4. For questions about My Nintendo, digital purchases, or promotions, press 5. Okay, well, I, I need to, to do something with menu, promotions. I need to get my... <laughs> my $10 coupon for Ocarina of Time. For my Nintendo, press 1. For Nintendo eShop, Nintendo Switch Online Service, or other digital purchases and downloads, press 2. For questions about a specific game or promotion, press 3. For questions about features or availability of games and consoles, for help with our latest promotion, including how to qualify, and help with game issues or error codes, Visit us online at support.nintendo.com forward slash promotions. To repeat this menu, press 8. To return to the previous menu, press star. Raw moment. Well, I guess we gotta go to the website for that. <laughs> Whatever, I don't have time for this, man. <laughs> Switch online sounds about right to get a refund. <laughs> Yeah, can you fix my online? I don't have any. <laughs> Latest. Get in or get out. N nice call, Chris. Oh, it's Buck Bumble. It bikiti bup bumble. Buck to the big buttercup for the kick, buck a buck to the big buck buck. <laughs> but funny, nice call, Chris. Very funny. I laughed. Okay. I like how that song ended unexpectedly. And then played a very janky song. Look at this mumbo. I think that's a drawing, though. Yeah. <laughs> he kind of looks like Obunga. For a second, I, I, I just thought I, like, docked someone. That was scary. 
That's some really good art, though. Get over here! <laughs> oh, look at that Yasi. <laughs> Got him right on the face. Who is that sweaty man, huh? Oh god, someone made fan art for Quest 64? Ugh. I mean, it it does look nice, but it's not really that great of a game from what I've heard. Oh hey look, it's Bomberman. I was actually just playing music from that. Alright, N64 Top 10. Uh, GoldenEye, Banjo-Kazooie. NFL Blitz, a bunch of wrestling games. How is Mario 64 below all these wrestling games? Well, I don't know. I guess. Alright, Super NES Top 10, Zelda, Super Mario RPG, Donkey Kong Country 3 above DKC1, and DKC2? Hey, no. I doubt it. Cro I Chrono Trigger. Is somehow below Donkey Kong Country 3. That makes no sense. <laughs> okay, Game Boy Top 5. Zelda, um, Bloom Red Versions, James Bond 00. What? I've never seen this game, huh? Donkey Kong Land 3 and Mario Land 2. Okay, yeah. Most Wanted Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I guess, yeah. The Nintendo 64 disk drive. Oh. <laughs> Who's gonna tell him? Who's gonna tell him about the 64 DD? Oh no. Vive la France! Taking a detour from the Lamborghini races in Dijon, France, uh, Volume 105 Player Polls Contest winner Jason Berry says fromage in front of the Eiffel Tower. So I'm guessing someone won a sweepstakes to go to France. Very cool, Nintendo. Fighting 464? I've never seen this. Hmm. <laughs> Where's Mother 3? Oh, you're talking about like coverage for Mother 3. Good question. That should be somewhere around here, right? Okay, I don't know anything about Star Wars. I don't know nothing about Star Wars. Nightmare Creatures. I've heard of the name. I don't know what this is about. Okay, Ocarina of Time. Again, I really love seeing like the, the pre-rendered maps like this. When they have like a top overview just to show it, like on, on a magazine. I like I like stuff like that. Oh, I get tired now. Ugh. Polygon Link. <laughs> the Max honestly make you wish you actually had them back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> I like how the Gorons always look so derpy. Whoa. Discover profanity you never knew existed. Like what? No course. Battle tanks. Wait a second. Isn't battle tanks that one game that had that one commercial. Ah oh, yeah. Ah oh, yeah. I like this. Oh, 
it's also on 3DO. Or I think it was also made by the people who made it 3 I don't know. Who cares? Very nice. Good commercial. I'm surprised I made that connection in the first place. <laughs> Uh, South Park. I've never watched South Park, believe it or not. I remember a crush I had in elementary school and middle school uh, would watch a lot of South Park. Yeah. That's pretty insane. Hmm. Body harvest or harvest body? Nah, I've never heard of this game. You watched Surf Park when you were really bored. South Park's alright, you suppose? Hmm. America 1, America 2, and America 3. By fellow Americans. Okay, I don't know how to sing. <laughs> Whoa, look at look at this Ganon. Yo, look at these models. Wait, these are Oh, these are action figures. I thought they were like 3D models. Uh yeah. I don't know. Why'd they whitewash my boy Ganon? <laughs> What's going on here? Yeah, they they just straight up made him white! They made him an actual ginger! Wow. <laughs> this song kind of sounds like the Japanese funk song. This song is from Meg Man and Bass. Wow, if America is so great, why didn't they make a sequel? Got him. N64 Sports. It's so important they had to make a logo for it. Ah, Castlevania on N64. And base is the only classic game you haven't played. Uh, not looking forward to it? <laughs> so, I've never played any of the Castlevania games on N64. I heard they're a little awkward, though. Hmm. Yeah, I've never played any of these. I think there's like two games on them. I just love uh, looking at the, the pre-rendered stuff. Legacy of Darkness is better though. Uh, which game is this? Whoa, Turok 2! Coming October 98 AD. Wasn't this like... What? Didn't this magazine come out in like December of 98? Pretty sure I chose that. Yeah, December up here. Bunch of stuff I don't know about. More wrestling. Da, da, da. This reminds me of F Zero X, which is also a game I've never played before. Man, considering how few N sixty four games there are, I'm surprised. Like, there's a, a bunch that I haven't seen. Hmm. Fox Sports College Hoops, 99. <laughs> okay. Nice. Magical Tetris Challenge featuring Mickey. Okay, Cr crossover of the century, I guess. I, I guess some someone out there really wanted Tetris with Disney characters. Sports, please delete. A battle against Chris. Yeah, this is from Earthbound. I didn't know they made Tetris with Mickey. <gasps> Mickey. Battle down now, Goofy. Goofy, put the gun down. But Mickey, I don't know. 
<laughs> Whatever. I'm really bad at improv. Christmas is coming. Beg early. Beg often. Let's see what are some things I can get on Christmas. Uh, N64 with bonus atomic purple controller. This one is definitely worth getting down on your knees. Hmm. Game Boy Color and new color games. Uh, that's Game and Watch Gallery 2, Bomberman, and Tetris DX. And d new Pokemon. <laughs> I guess, yeah. Donkey Kong Country 3 and Super Mario All Stars. Try it and produce some tears before you can start begging. Muzzers can't resist them. Sears. Whoa. Remember when Sears was a thing? <laughs> Actually encouraging kids to beg their parents. Watch the subscriptions dip in the numbers. In numbers, rather. Oh, I wish Bowen was here, man. He should hear this great song. Rip Sears, yeah. Rip Sears, rip Blockbuster. How many of you guys know where this song is from? Please tell me you do. Up a bunch of games I've never heard of before. Oh god, look at this guy. <laughs> look at his weird face. I am here. Oh. Well, this is from a... Uh, it's from the Pokemon card game. Well, the, 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 the sequel to it. TCG Wild... What do you mean Wild Guess? That's not a Wild Guess. That's extremely close. <laughs> Milo's Astro Lanes. Very... They could have, uh, th this is a little rough. This is like Johnny Quest rough. Why did those OSTs go hard? I don't know. Ah. Such a shame that this game never came out, like, in the West. It was a wild guess. He had no idea if you were right or wrong. No! That's not a... I know for damn sure that's not a wild guess. You need to play TCG one day? Play it now. Play it loud. Virtual pool? Huh? Hold on. I ain't never heard of no pool game on N64. Look at that. You know what? This actually looks kind of decent. I mean, they actually had they actually made the balls round. So, props. <laughs> oh, let me let me pause that real quick. Yeah. <laughs> this is what you need. Yeah. This is from Sonic Rush. Which, uh, again, I think the the composer for Jet Set Radio made the music for this, right? <laughs> I yell, stop, proceed. <laughs> Alright, more wrestling, boo. Gold Nugget 64. Oh, this is a casino game. Yeah, Hideki something. Yeah, H Hideki N Namamura Funny Moments. Right? N Naga... Numa. <laughs> He's rocking the, the the Peter Griffin profile picture. What the? <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Okay, let me put this away. <laughs> Superman is here? Oh god. 
Superman 64? Ooh. You're gonna wish he wasn't there. <laughs> what happened to him? <laughs> <laughs> you haven't played Rush? I actually stole my cousin's copy of Sonic Rush. Quest for Camelot. I never played this game. <laughs> I'm gonna skip to the next song. This is... I don't know why this is like a super extended version. There you go. That's something a little bit more pleasant sounding. Sometimes the DS don't sound too good. Pepsi Man 64? That's not real. Pepsi Man was only on PS1 and in Japan. At least as far as I know. Oh hey, it's Link's Awakening. Where is the bottle grotto <laughs> nightmare key? Oh, this is the thing that uh, Jess Rocker was struggling on. He had to kill the enemies in a certain order. Defeat the imprisoned Pull's voice, the Keith, and then the Stalfos. The trophies is the chillest BGM in existence. Yeah. Mortal Kombat 4. How do I pick up weapons, skulls, and rocks? Stand over them and press down and run. Down and run. What, a, what an awkward combination. Down and run. In the U.S., call this number, one fifty. In Canada, call this number, two dollars. <laughs> mm -hmm. Whoa! All right, what am I looking at? What the hell? Oh, F zero X. Oh God, that's kind of graphic. Like his eyes, like. Bulging out. Sheep man, yeah. Yeah, I've never played F Zero X. Also, I'm not sure if you guys knew this, but you can actually like develop your own stages in that game. I think you needed the 64 DD though, right? It's literally because you didn't read. Oh, you're referring to uh, defeating the enemies in a certain order. Yeah. I guess there might have been a hint out there. Look at this car with teeth. What a Volkswagen, new Beetle. Who, who in the hell who can drive is going to be reading Nintendo Power Magazine? I mean, well, you never know. But for a Beetle? So, <laughs> this is a promotion for a racing game. And you're offering people a... Beetle. I mean, it has Nintendo Power stickers on it. Bill Trinan. Bill Trinan would drive this? Is what you're telling me? Bill. 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 Bill! <laughs> Ooh, Game Boy Color. Oh, Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle 3. Right. Mm -hmm. The rush to bring out new titles for Game Boy Color has been remarkable. 15 of the first games, all of which will be released by December, managed to battle their way into this holiday shopper's guide, but many more GBC games are arriving at Nintendo every day. Let the games begin. This is surprisingly appropriate music for what I'm reading. How many of you guys know where this song is from? I I'm willing to bet a lot of you won't guess it. <laughs> Pokemon? Yeah, but like, which game? Oh god, Mortal Kombat 4 was on Game Boy Color? Ooh. I have a bad feeling about that. It's remixed? I mean, it is, but it's not. It's actually on... It's actually featured in a game. You give up. You didn't play the Game Boy ones? On Jaw? 
<laughs> you, you never played the, the Puzzle League, maybe? Uh, close! Twubble. Chris is a brony, which is fine by me. Uh, no? <laughs> Pinball? No. Oh, someone drew the the little Lion King art here. That's cute. What other Gen two spinoffs were there? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Chwabo, oh, oh, yeah. Or uh, eh. Your power guide to the latest releases, December 98. Super Ness. <laughs> latest releases, Super Ness. Also, look at this weird N64 logo. My boy looking like a uh, Neo Cortex. The N on his forehead. <laughs> Pocket Bomber, man. That's a that's a cool name. Pocket Tand. Mm -hmm. What exactly is Tetris DX? Uh, extra mode con includes forty lines. Okay. Yeah. What what is this game actually? I I do own Tetris on Game Boy. But I don't know what Tetris DX is. Hmm. Yeah, w w what is this game? Is it just that it's it's in color? Original Tetris, now in color. Is that it? <laughs> Tetris, but in color. Hmm. Cool, I guess. <laughs> of course, Game & Watch Gallery. They should re-release these games, the the Game & Watch Gallery games. So basically what these games were, were like remixes of Game Game & Watch titles at that time. Uh, I guess they like quote unquote modernized it for Game Boy Color. Uh, but now it just looks like it's really old because, I mean Game Boy is considered retro now. Yeah. By the way, uh, Jasp, it would be Puzzle Challenge on Game Boy Color. Puzzle League is something different. At least I believe it is, right? Let me just check just to make sure. Yes, Challenge is on Game Boy Color and League is on N64. They are two completely different games. Didn't they release these on VC? I wouldn't know. I don't know anything about no virtual console. The fact they the fact, the way they called it the Super NES disgruntled me. What, are you not a big fan of the Super Nintendo ES? The Men in Black. That's a movie I need to watch at some point. With Weir Smith. Beal, 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 Beal. <laughs> Shoutouts to uh, Cape Story. Love that game. Super <laughs> Super Nintendo Entertainment S. Yeah. Look at this. I remember uh, ABGN showed this in a video once. This thing that lights up your Game Boy. Hmm. FIFA keeps getting better. Nah. No, it don't. Bro, if you put your hand inside a Glover, would he die? Wait, Duke Nukem was on N64? Never knew that. Uh... Ooh, Rayman 2. Oh, release forecast. Let's see. Where is Earthbound 64? Right here. Future. Future. Yeah, that's uh, that's unfortunate. 
<laughs> Elmo's ABCs. Rug rats. I I've never I've never seen it spelled that way. Or at least wait. Does rug rats have a Z at the end? It does, right? Okay, it doesn't. The thing about it is that it doesn't have a space in it. Not like how this is showing right here. Yeah. So there's rats and there's rug rats. Unless this isn't the rug rats that I'm thinking of. <laughs> Maybe they're actually rats in rugs. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Look at this Nando. <laughs> yeah, he's a little smiley boy. Oh, so he's, uh, he's suffering from a little bit of the ESAM up here. Ooh. Looking rough. It's 12.49? Okay, so yeah, I gotta, I gotta get going pretty soon. But, wow. Okay. We've seen and learned a lot today. We only have, like, seven more pages to go. Let's see what other exciting things we can find. Da -da -da. We've already touched on that. NBA Jam, eh. And yeah, that's it. Well, uh, that's really all of all I had scheduled here. So, a whole three hours of us looking at video game magazines. Hopefully that did just something. Uh, I don't know if you guys like this concept. Maybe we could do it some more in the future, because uh, as you can see, there's qu quite an abundance of these here. In fact, let's see what the latest issue is like. Hmm. Uh, is this Wario... What is this? WarioWare.biz? Hold on. Hold on, let me look at this. WarioWare.biz. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, let's go to Mario vs. DK.com then. Okay. Why not? Nostalgia tri trips are great, especially when you weren't there to begin with. Yeah. I'm just gonna, like, skim through this. See what's on Game Boy. Let's see what's what's popular. Uh, Metroid Zero Mission, yeah, makes sense. Uh, Mario Advance Four, yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh, mm, maybe I guess. Ruby, Sapphire, TMNT. I remember TMNT on Game Boy Advance actually. Feels alright. Sonic Battle, oh yeah. I guess that was around last time. I've never played that game. Or, well, that's not true. My neighbor downstairs had it. Player's Choice, Game Boy. Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga, hell yeah, dude. Fire Emblem, wow. Don't let anyone tell you that this series isn't popular. Final Fantasy Tactics Advance, I, I need to play that game. Shining Force, that's the, the remake of the game that was originally on Genesis. WarioWare Inc., of course. Advance Wars 2. Let's see what's popular on GameCube. Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. Is it? No. I don't believe that. Hold on. I've always heard this was mediocre at best. Let me see. They're, they're pretty good scores all around. I, I, what is this game? I wonder. Hmm. You've always loved the percussion in this track. Oh yeah, this song. Sonic Heroes Above Melee. Okay, now you're. I I know you're doing something wrong with that. 
Sonic Heroes is probably like the slipperiest Sonic game I've ever played. It, that, that should not go above melee. Ever. It's multiplayer? Oh, yeah. Alright, let's see. Mario Party 5, Luigi's Mansion, Mario Sunshine, Pac-Man World 2. Need for Speed Underground was on GameCube? Didn't know. Budokai. The first Budokai game. Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Okay, look. Y you might as well switch these. Sonic Adventure 2 is a lot better than Sonic Heroes. Get that out of here. And Wind Waker, look, I've never played that, but even I know that shouldn't be down there. That, that shouldn't be below any Sonic game. Your monkey, monkey ball and your PTSD goes wild. Namco Museum? Really? A compilation game? No, come on. Get that off the list. Top selling. Well, I guess you can't really argue with the facts, but, uh. Alright, let's go by player's choice. So basically, you're telling me that more people... You know what? Fine. Fine, I get it. This is from 2004. The fact that Super Smash Bros. Melee is still being bought a lot at this time says a lot about it. Maybe Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles were relatively new. So, yeah. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Gotcha. Okay, so the player's choice. Uh, Four Swords Adventures. I really, really want to play that game at some point. I didn't know a Metal Gear Solid game was on GameCube. Interesting. Sonic Heroes is not better than Melee. It's not. Okay, so this is the actual player's choice. So, disregard this. This is from, like, stupid consumers, right? So, Final Fantasy Chris Chronicles is still here. No sight of Melee! In fact, the Melee isn't even on this list. <laughs> How? Donkey Konga is on here, and Melee, no? Bruh. Okay. <laughs> Donkey Konga was good. It's good, but it's not the most memorable thing ever. Four Swords is cool for its presentation more than anything else. Yeah, that's why I want to play it. Hold on. This music that's playing right now, and this character that's up here. Where is it? You know, this is really weird. Uh, in the early 2000s, Nintendo didn't really get that many, like, Dragon Quest related things. So the fact that there's a slime popping up in a 2004 issue of Nintendo Power is uh, quite something to behold. But also this guy just wanted to remain anonymous, I suppose. Hmm. Rare Sight. Dragon Quest is fitting somehow. Oh yeah, they did port it to the Game Boy Color. Obviously gooey. No, it's a slime. Oh, this is this is that uh peak mean I've heard so much about. As well as Dows in Your Door. Oh, this is the song I used in uh, what's that video called? Gaming in Retrospect. You know the, the Sonic 1 video? I remember using the song. Also, is this... Did this ever happen in the game? Is this like a, like a beta thing? Because I don't remember this ever popping up in Thousand Your Door. Like a ship looking like this. Metroid Prime? Okay, so this is uh, stuff we're like keeping out on the lookout for. Uh, in regards to like E3 2004. I'm guessing I'm... Most of these games didn't come out yet. Mm -hmm. P 
Peakman. Oh, this is Four Swords Adventure. It looks exactly like Minish Cap. Hmm. And this is Metroid Prime, I suppose. I haven't really seen much of that game. Isn't it in like a first person point of view? I mean, well, I guess it has multiplayer? Hmm. Well, here we go, Four Swords Adventure. So, Link's sprite comes from Minish Cap, but the actual overworld looks like it comes from A, a, a Link to the Past. Very, very odd. I like the idea of this game looking the way it does, and being on ga uh, GameCube, yeah. I'm telling you, dude, you gotta play Prime. I should. Okay, this looks neat. The only thing is that I've, I've yet to see a single person like actually own this game. But uh, from the few things I, I have seen of it, there, there seems to be like a lot of ideas, very unique, very... Yeah, like, I just... Like, look, there's like a little voting system here. There's a giant bomb with a, a counter on it, I suppose. Control all the characters through uh, Game Boy Advance. Hmm. Right art is sick and underrated. WarioWare Inc. This game, I remember being on a kiosk at a Kmart. This was like 2005, 2006-ish. 1am already. Oh, gosh. Okay, I'm sorry for keeping you up, man. How many of you guys know where this song comes from? Quick guess before it ends. That's nah, about to end. Hmm, the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game. Never really got into it. I wonder if it's uh, similar to uh, Pokemon TCG. Crash Bandic- Yeah, he got it. <laughs> it's kind of wild that the first Game Boy ad you remember was a uh, Mystery Dungeon. I remember a Mystery Dungeon ad when I was younger. It might have been either one for GBA or for DS. Hey look, it's Custom Robo. This game ended up coming out, right? On GameCube? I don't know anything about it. Yu-Gi-Oh! is nothing like TCG. Okay. Good to know. I feel like Pokemon's probably like a lot more simple. In regards to its card games. Future Tactics. I'm guessing this is made by the same people who made Advance Wars? Because the the logo font looks kind of similar. <laughs> That's really the only thing I'm going off of. Probably not. I don't see any intelligent systems here. <laughs> Serious Sam. I remember a friend who really loved Serious Sam. I don't know anything about it, though. Thor Wars. Ah! Oh, look at this! The trading card game. And this E. Uh, is this, like, for the E-Reader? That looks like the E-Reader logo. Also, I like how... <laughs> whose side are you on? And then you, have, you gotta, like, flip it over. To see, uh, Team Aqua's stuff. Oh, I love this game. Tom Clancy's other games. Team Aqua are Golden Deer. Yeah. Oh, hey, it's Shining Force. That game I won't shut up about. Oh, 
Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Not this game. These games, rather. <laughs> what is this song? It's going in. This song is from Super Highlight. Which is an RPG on Genesis. Ah. Uh, so. Let me let me just bring this up. I was one of the few people who actually got suckered into buying this game. I remember looking at the ad for it uh, very vividly on a Christmas. This is, this is probably like one of the earliest ads I remember watching. And I... Like, this to me seemed like mind-blowing at the time. <laughs> oh, this is so lame. This is so lame. It's just all party games. It's not an adventure game. Honestly, this sounds like... No, you don't understand. So, based off of that commercial, you would think, Oh, you got to run around as Crash and, you know, go through like a 2D side-scroller and break boxes and get collectibles. They're, they're just party games. They're just cheap party games, man. That's probably like one of my least favorite gaming memories. Also, it's not Crash Orange, it's Crash Purple. <laughs> I've actually played this game. Uh, I played it on, uh, on stream. But yeah, it's, it's just lazy. Ugh. Yay! Cool. <laughs> I can't believe I bought that. 2003 Nintendo Power Awards? I really need to play Wind Waker at some point. What a letdown, yeah. Wait, party games? That's actually- yeah. The Legend of Zelda Collector's Edition? Don't you mean... I mean, this isn't The Legend of Zelda. This is Zelda's... I mean, Link's Adventure, I think it's called. Zelda 2 is basically what I'm saying. Odd that you call it Collector's Edition. And you're showing Zelda 2. Oh, these are awards, so... Best Use of a Horse Online. What? What does that mean? Dodo Lipona whether you need to jump a canyon, shoot arrows at targets, or just gallop around in an open field, she's always there for you. Our other equine co contestants didn't even get out of the starting gate. Oh, so you mean The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time has made the best use of a horse. I mean, I, I wonder what the competition was like. <laughs> Who were you competing with? Is there another game on GameCube? And yes, it is GameCube, because they're showing the little GameCube picture here. Is there another game on GameCube where you ride on a horse? Hmm. Game of the Year, Superstar Saga? Damn! Oh no, Game of the Year for Game Boy Advance. You know what? Yeah. Oh, Runners Up, Fire Emblem and Heart of Spoon. That's right here. Interesting. I, yeah, I, I guess your use of Epona doesn't really compare, rather, your use of a horse in Fire Emblem doesn't compare to how you use a horse in uh, Ocarina of Time. Game of the Year, Superstar Saga, I believe it. Wind Waker, I believe it. Best Graphics, Wind Waker, I believe it. Best Graphics on GBA for Golden Sun? Yeah, probably. Majora's Mask had Epona. But was that Epona better? I don't know. Hmm, you should actually continue story- uh, Superstar Saga. I took a break from it. Yeah, you should. Oh, more. Best sound, Lord of Rings. Uh, wouldn't know anything about that. Best original music, Wind Waker. 
Best music slash sound on GBA. Superstar Saga, I believe it. Best writing slash story, Superstar Saga. Hmm. Uh, really? Would you say that? The award was neck and neck until the bitter end, with Golden Sun and Superstar Saga trading first. With Fire Emblem also pretty close. Uh, in the end, Mario and Luigi's zany sense of humor took first place by less than 200 votes. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Worst fashion sense. Everyone from Big Mother Truckers. Nice, nice name. Superstar Saga had a good script. I'd say so, yeah. Best connectivity. I didn't know that Wind Waker connected to the Game Boy Advance. The Tingle Turner Tuner rather allowed you to fire bombs at enemies, find special maps, and generally be a big help to Link. Uh, okay. Wow. Hmm. <laughs> Best part of a title that comes after colon. Okay. Best racing game, uh, going up against F-Zero GX and Need for Speed. Best multiplayer, going up against Soul Calibur 2. Hmm. Simpsons Hit and Run. Da -da -da. Most pleasant surprise. Aww. <laughs> Oddest character name, Dorcas from Fire Emblem. Oh. I like how they have Tetra here and Mute. What an odd category. Also Tetra. Yeah, I guess so. Best new char- Okay, so you have Errol here and then Tetra. I mean, one, one looks a lot easier to say and read than the other. I don't know about you. Don't sleep on Dorcas. I mean, I wouldn't know anything about that. <laughs> Are you hot or not? Not. Nurgle. Aw, they put Wario here. What a roast. And <laughs> someone put Lin under the hot category. Which, okay, wait. You know what, I, I haven't played Fire Emblem on GBA, so hey, I don't know. This is Lin, right? Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't say so. Not to me. Look at this art. Hmm. The nice thing about being a gamer is that the new titles just keep coming. Oh. <laughs> sure, I guess that is a good thing about being a gamer. Ooh, prizes. Make history with Potter. Okay, grand fly is... You'll fly to England, where EA's wizards will turn your image into a portrait to be hung in a future Harry Potter video game. That's so obscure, but cool. I guess so. Lynn is the most popular female character in the series by a wide margin. Not on my watch. I still need to play, uh, Fire Emblem 7. I saw you were trying to stream it earlier. Uh, but I gotta, I gotta beat Thracia first. Wait, wait, were you trying to play 7 or 6? It was one of those. I know they're both on GBA. Hmm. <laughs> Unless your series dies like Klonoa. Aw. Oh. <laughs> Third prize. Your allegiance lies with Nintendo House. Show your devotion to NP with our official t-shirt. Pow. Very nice. Ooh! Trainers from Ore and Hoenn clash in Pokemon Coliseum. A new breed of high-tech trainers have been spotted. Fur? Wireless adapter. I don't think I've ever heard of this. Wireless in 2004? Huh. FE6. OBS was not having it. Yeah, I don't, I don't know anything about this. Uh, this 
peripheral, the GBA wireless adapter. Hmm. September 9th, returning to Kanto. September 9th, 2004. Okay. Hmm, the big picture. Let me let me take a look at this. Uh, you can connect Hoenn and Kanto and transport perform between Pokemon and Ruby and Sapphire and Fire Red Leaf Green. Okay, story mode. Of course. When the new GBA games are released, you'll be able to transport them from Kanto and Ore for the first time. Okay. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> Return to Kanto times three one. It, it might as well be like times five at this point if you're counting the the Gen two Gen two and its remakes. Yeah, it was advertised on the Fire, Le Fire Red Leaf Green uh, box art. Really? Oh, a lot of you guys might not know this, but I, I actually own, still own my GameCube. And it's a promotional GameCube that shows the Pokemon XD logo on it. So, to say that it actually came with that game. Also, <laughs> 1492, Columbus declares the world is round. 2004, Michael disagrees. <laughs> Have you guys ever been to Walmart? Look at this flat earther. Oh my god, look at these models! Oh, that didn't age well. Hmm. Mmm, May's looking May's looking a little dead. World is a confirmed a dodecahedron. <laughs> oh god, look at this guy. I guess I never played Coliseum. I only played XD. R O F L X D. How Colosseum and XD are connected, aside from them running on like the same engine. Oh, it's another song from Yonoid 2. Still haven't played both of them? You should. Oh, <laughs> that kind of caught me by surprise. Um,. No, but my copy of XD actually crashes a lot. I don't know why. Same region years later. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Ore region. Nice. So this game came out in May 4th, 2004. So this is a few days before I turned 7. Yeah. <laughs> Where's Super Slam? Hmm. Now playing. Wow, look at this, like, surprisingly 90s graphic on a 2004 magazine. Look at this brick gradient. Oh. So yeah, my GameCube is, is gray like this. And it just has the, the Pokemon XD logo on it. Let me, let me show you what I'm talking about. This. I, I basically have this. Oh. <laughs> Don't show that. Hmm. <laughs> oh, bookworm. Isn't that a game made by PopCap? Hmm. Have you guys ever seen a game with like this rating? Early childhood? I think there's only like one game I've seen with that. And it's like some like weird Sesame Street N64 game. Right? 
Yeah. This is like the only game I've seen that has that. Early childhood. Aside from that, these days, I, I think it's been retired since then, right? Haven't seen A rated either. Oh, adult? Yeah. Because mature pretty much takes care of that. You found the ocarina. <laughs> Very nice. How much does it cost? Uh, forty dollars. Ooh. A little rough. The Nindex. <laughs> Is this rendition from an actual game? No, it's not. It's a remix. Oh, the Game Boy Advance video! Who remembers that? Did any of you guys have any of those? I remember in high school, uh, one of my friends brought one that had Spongebob on it. It basically could watch TV shows on your Game Boy Advance. You had the Sonic one. Oh, you had Sonic X. Okay. Hold on. Digimon Racing? Bruh. Remember seeing them on store shelves. Hmm. Oh god. Get wonked. Bruh, is Wonka.com still a thing? Can I play games on Wonka.com? No, I can't. <laughs> Unless maybe I'm typing in the wrong... No, yeah, it's supposed to be Wonka.com. Bad. Bad gamer moment. I miss Wonka.com. You can play a lot of cool games on that. Uh, well, it's just about to be like 1.30, so let me... <laughs> oh, Wayback Machine? Well, I mean, technically this is the Wayback Machine. So let's go to Wonka.com right now. Okay, not, not that. Here we go. If you're that fixated on going to Wonka.com, Let's go back to the extremely nostalgic year of 2005. Also, how many of you guys have ever had Wonka candy? And I'm not talking about like nerds, I'm talking about like an actual Wonka bar. Bad request? Bruh. Are you telling me I can never go back to Wonka.com? Oh no, I just need to enable Flash. Whoa! All right, let's ask Willie something. Just nerds, all. Actually, no. Let's go to the games, since this is a very gaming-related stream. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Wh which game do you guys want to play? Actually, who who cares what you think? Let me try this 3D game. Oh, oh, it's 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 making me download something. Uh, no. Uh. <laughs> Tell a friend about this game. It's actually loading something. Uh oh, I can send this to someone's email address. Very cool. I won't. Pixie Sticks Space Slalom. Okay. Come on. Go. Okay, I guess I can only do certain ones. Let's try Shocker Blaster. Alright, th these won't work. You know what? We need to go to MarioVersusDonkeyKong.com. 
How about that? Laffy Taffy is Wonka? Yeah. No, no, don't go here. No. Ugh. Alright, uh... Hmm. What was, a, what was a game that had a website? Wasn't Crash 3 Warped 1? No? Ugh. Or was it Crash Warped? Or was it Crash Bandicoot Warped? There you go. Okay, no, this is a this is a bootleg website. Maybe I needed the three n in there. Nope. Okay, whatever. You recognize this track and you can't name it. This is from a Sonic game. Hmm. Ah. What's a website I can search up? Yeah, Lava Reef Zone. I wonder if Sonic Adventure 2 ever had a website. Isn't it weird how, like, individual games had their own websites? This track feels nostalgic. Ah. Uh, okay. <laughs> you guys want to see something real neat? Let's look at Nintendo's early days. Genesis base kind of sounds like Ace Attorney OST. that the Wayback Machine can do this for us. You just take a look at like these old websites as they looked at the time. Look at that. We should go to Zelda64.com. Hold on. That's a really good idea. Uh oh. What is this? Huh? Alright, something something strange has happened to Zelda64.com. This uh this doesn't look like uh Oh. <laughs> okay, here we go. Hmm. How how long was this active for? Surely not to like 2007, right? Hmm. Oh, I, I guess I'll never know. Cool. Oh, is that Ganon? No, I think that's the that's the boss from the Leaf Temple or whatever the hell it's called. Hmm. Alright, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Look how squished this is. What is this? Hmm. Frogger. Ooh, Game Boy Color. <laughs> hmm. Game Boy Camera, right. What the thing. Back then, times were simpler on the internet. Uh, any, everything... Looks terrible, yeah. Oh man, why did the Game Boy camera have to look like so horrifying? Hmm. 
<laughs> I like this picture of Diddy. <laughs> Alright, let's go a little bit in the future. Game Boy had a camera? Yeah. You've never seen it? Hold on. This is, uh, this is gameplay from Game Boy Camera. Quote-unquote gameplay. But this person's... Oh, yeah, this is... Yeah. I, I don't know why this game was, like, so unexpectedly creepy. But let's, uh, let's, let's get away from that. <laughs> hey, look, Pikmin! Oh. <laughs> BB pastas have returned. Yeah, it's it's too late for this sort of thing. It's 1.30 a.m. Nintendo just did stuff like that back then. So it's a game? Creepy. Yeah. Wow, Super Smash Bros. was still popular in... Oh well, yeah, in 2002, I, I guess so. This is a time where the GameCube had already came out, but I guess maybe the N64 was still getting some games or some traction. I don't know. <laughs> oh, Kobe Bryant. Donkey Kong 64 number one. <laughs> don't remind me. Alrighty, Chris, I'm gonna head out now. Hope to see you stream again someday. You were two years old? In 2002, I was five. So this would have been around the time where I went to Times Square and actually got my Game Boy Advance SP. Chris, don't you have a job? Yeah, I, I go in at like noon tomorrow. So don't worry. Oh, look at these. Woo! Up! Up! Oh. oh. Ooh, downloads. <laughs> E-cards? Banjo-Tooie. What do you mean, E-cards? What is an E-card? You mean, like, email? Ooh, Peekaboo. <laughs> Hold on, can I save this image? <laughs> okay, let me go on here. There you go. Very good. It's a GIF, yeah. Mm -mm, mm -mm. You guys better like that. Other downloads are there? Hmm. Oh, online games. Wario's Whack Attack. Okay, I, I I don't think I can play this. Yeah, it opens on another window and there's a uh, flash isn't available. Yeah, let me search for uh. Super Circuit. Mario Kart. E cards were read by their e reader, probably. I doubt it. Alright, well, I don't know what else to search up. Hmm. Does anyone like this? Okay, good. <laughs> Hold on. There was one website I had very vivid memories of, and that's of um, Mario Kart Super Circuit. The 
It's the Game Boy Advance game. Is there any way I can access this? You played that Elmo game when you were tiny. Aww. Okay, not play online. I just want the website name. Hmm. Where is it? Alright, do, do I- okay. I gotcha. I know what I need to do. Guys, check- check- check this out, this 300 IQ! I'll get there eventually. Here we go. Where is it? Or do I have to go after the release date? Dude, is that Paper Mario? Cool. Okay, I gotta go to sleep. C can I find this quicker? Hmm. Oh! Aw, oh, Gen 2. another phone number to call. <laughs> I really, really should be getting back to sleep. Well, back to sleep assumes I fell asleep in the first place. Alright, let's do it. This Banjo Dewey shirt and dog tags. I I really can't find it. Is it just that I, I have to wait for it to get released? This is lame. Okay. So let's look for. Hmm, 2001, 2001. Here. What is this? Nintendo Online? on Mario Kart. I, I can't find it. I want to find that website again. I have an idea.
Come on. <laughs> Super Circuit ain't even all that. But the website is amazing! You gotta see it, man. I'm not going to sleep until I find this website. Ah, damn it, where is it? I love this game, by the way. Hmm. Memorabilia like this would be sick to own. Yeah. Here we go. Uh. 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 <laughs> yes. Come on. Ah. I just want to see it one more time. Yes! Yeah, this is 2010's chiptune. Come on, you bastard, load! Okay, I, I don't think I can get it to run. Dream's dead, boys. Purpose achieved? Not quite. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Enable flash? There is there is no option to enable flash. Actually, I'm not sure if you guys hear this, but every time I, I open this, it actually makes a sound. But nothing happens. Creepy. Well, <laughs> whatever. Actually, no. You know what? I need to show you guys something that I teased on a... Uh, what's it called? On Twitter once. But how am I going to get there? The website for New Super Mario Brothers. Actually, it's a lot easier than you think. Mario.Nintendo.com Right? There you go. There he is. Nope, let me pause that. Okay. Well, I thought you could kill the Goomba. I mean, the Koopa. <laughs> I thought Chris would go to sleep now. Me? Never. Nah, but yeah, I should. Really. Let's, uh, let's go to downloads. This is actually cool. Way cooler than the new websites. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I was showing on Twitter, where, like, if you click one of these, uh, you hurt Mario. And I also really want these gifts, but I can't... I can't get them to download. I really want this really funny gif of Mario just running. Or this Goomba. Yo, for a second, I forgot Bowser Jr. was in this game. No, but they, they, 
they definitely don't make websites like these anymore. It sucks. They they used to put a lot of effort into these. Now it's just, you know, all stock. Like, oh, check out Mario. Uh, He's on Nintendo. But, like, you know, instead of, like, the game actually having its own website. Uh, can you inspect way back? I don't know. See Mario's moves in action. Can I? You you probably won't be able to. <laughs> it's not gonna load. <laughs> Look at how weird this looks. <laughs> Wonder if Diamond and Pearl had a site like this. Well, I'm I'm willing to bet that Pokemon had a website uh where they advertised it. I'm not sure about the games. Let's see. Way back to the Chrome extension, really? How much you want to bet this goes back to like 98 at the farthest? Let's see. Oh, music. Guys, I need to I need to go to sleep, man. This music's about to put me to sleep. <laughs> Uh, is this ever gonna load? Oh, bugging out. You uh, you alright there, pal? When Apple started doing flat design in iOS 7s, everyone then started to do it too. I really need to fix the way that chat looks. Also, I don't know why these links started popping up, up over here. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, let me just, uh... Let me just get rid of these. I don't know why I can't do this right now. Hold on. Ah, there you go. 98. It's probably going to say something like, keep, keep tuned in to the show. And you will win some prizes. Oh wow, they actually, back in 98, they actually brought attention to the, the manga, the Electric Tail of Pikachu. Interesting. They don't know about that. Hot Japanese comics such as Dragon Ball Z, Neon Genesis Evangelion, and Ranma in one half. I, I don't, I've never, I've heard so much about that show, but I've never actually seen it or know how to say that title. One out of two? <laughs> you should play this song more, Chris. This is from Bomberman Hero, which is a game I've never played. Also, it just ends. Betty Nice. Have I played every single song here already? It feels like I have, right? Yep, I played that one. I played that one. I played that one. That was a very early stream. This was the, the Obama song. Obama, 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 Barack Obama. <laughs> Classic Obama. Epic rap battles of history! 
<laughs> I'm not gonna let this battle be dictated by facts. I'm rich. I, I I don't know anything. I don't know the whole thing, basically. Whatever. <laughs> Alright. Very no nice, Obama. Very cool. But alright, uh, Diamond and Pearl was released in 2007? Don't know about you guys, but find this pretty epic. But I find this pretty epic. <laughs> Way back machine on Senpai Chris 5 when? Oh god. Do you want to see that? Hold on. Well, I, who's to say that the link hasn't changed? Uh, it's not popping up. Bad request. Uh, choose a different date. Come on. Load something, will ya? Please. Wow. Yeah, no, Wayback Machine seems to really hate this, for some reason. Okay, something something popped up for like a split second, come on. Can we post pictures in this chat with a dot pig Z? I somehow doubt it. I don't know how that works. Hmm. Choose my country. Come to Brazil. <gasps> Peru? I, I like how Peru is one of six countries here. <laughs> Out of all of them. Peru. Like Mexico isn't even here. Damn. How you got Peru here but not Mexico? Yeah, okay, fine. I guess I'm from Peru. True. <laughs> Oh, you're just gonna show me how to how to watch the show, and you're not even gonna like fully translate the whole website. That's pretty good. That's that's nice. I appreciate that. You know that Peru is just Canada with just a llama slapped onto it instead of a maple leaf. Yeah. Uh, so this is just around Gen Five. Oh hey, the Pokey Walker. Y'all got Putin in Peru? I, I don't know what you mean by that. I guess I'll view my profile. Since I'm logged in, you know? It's a Canadian thing. Naturally. Yeah, I think I've gone through every single song here. All 91 of them. I don't remember ever playing this one. Hmm. <laughs> Tragic. Yeah, I I've never heard of them. Whoa. Isn't it crazy to believe this was almost 10 years ago? May 20th, 2011. Do you know what happened at around this time? So, I had turned 14. Uh, 13 days prior. But two weeks after my 14th birthday was when I actually made my first ever Let's Play. Uh, it was on a Thursday, I believe. Or something like that. It was either May 2011 or June 2011. My first ever Let's Play was of Kaizo Mario World. 
that's since been deleted because I played a lot of copyrighted music on it and I was risking like a DMCA takedown and all that. Uh, but yeah, that's no longer a thing. Uh, along with Super Mario RPG and Earthbound, as well as Pokemon Yellow, those are all series that have been completely deleted and wiped off the internet. He's gonna take you back to the past, yeah. You guys wanna see what my Twitter looked like back then? H2D. That's very nice. I like that. Actually, do I wanna look at this? I feel like this is career suicide. What happens if I put this <laughs> on here? Huh. Do do I wanna look at my old tweets? Oh Oh, okay, good. You can't. Oh, so someone took a screenshot of my my Twitter account here. So let's see what was going on on August 4th, 2019. Uh, the finale to Final Fantasy VII, apparently. Huh. <laughs> right? Sakurai's birthday, apparently. Oh, Spongebob caps. I missed that. <laughs> oh, it's Bean fell off. Oh, I'm really nostalgic for all these tweets. <laughs> Memories. Damn. Nice John Cena. Where? That's not. That's not John Cena. That's The Rock. Ah. Uh, well, you know what? I think that's okay. Let me let me get away from this. Yeah. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it for uh, <laughs> our stream. We've been going on for four hours now. Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, I'm. I'm uh, very sorry that we had to end on this song. Very mysterious, very sad. Let me find something nice to end on. Hmm, no. How about this? I began the stream with this song, so I'll end it with this one. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been your boy, Sunfire Chris 5. Thank you for sitting through four hours of me looking at random retro video game related content and a whole myriad of other nonsense. I appreciate ya, most especially Zach William, Pro Toman, and During Soul, Zach William, Jasper Rocker, uh, da, 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 Nate Sycamore, Diego So, Lego Fedora, Shaggy Fish, uh, and Selena, whose username escapes me at the moment, and Kevin Marcello. Hopefully I said everyone's name. Also, Soft Comet, the person who subscribed, I mean, not subscribed, um, became a member, which actually I'm gonna update right now. Hold on. Let me do that real quick with the swiftness. Stream labels. <laughs> I'm glad no one pointed it out uh, that it hasn't updated. Otherwise, I would have been in deep trouble. I would have been embarrassed on the internet. We can't have that. Owl Kitty destroys Smash. Oh, you want me to show you that on stream? <laughs> yeah, hold on. Uh, is it updated? Yeah, there we go. Let me just put that there, put that here. Yeah, you guys want to look at this? Very, very good at it. Your 
breaks shields, then taunts. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> I love this. I love this meme so much. <laughs> I need, I need to show you an edit. Biocom, you better not get me for this. Yeah, Josh and Drake. <laughs> Watch out, Joker. This is my favorite. I'm, th this stream's getting taken down, but... At, at least we're going down <laughs> with a bang. You were supposed to cut it the power very cool anyways <laughs> Now it's time for me to finally end the stream. Uh, let me find that one song I always end the stream with. Ah <laughs> oh, man, I'm I'm tired. I'm I'm ready to have a nice big old sleep. Where is that? Mega Man and Base. Here we go. Well, I've already said everyone's names here. I've been your boy, Senpai Chris 5 and I hope you've enjoyed our stream here tonight. Uh, also, I'm really glad that no one called me out on the fact that I didn't watch Zin's videos. We're going to keep that hush-hush. So, uh, I'll see you all later. Peace! <laughs>